Hello guys, welcome back to another Platinum Warfare and finally getting onto the Bioshock 1 which was requested in a community poll. Um, now first things first, I'll explain it all in a second, let's just get through gameplay options. So you need to go into gameplay options before you start guys, I need to highlight disable Vita Chambers, I need to turn that on. Yes, yeah, a bit of funny word in there, you have to turn it on because the actual option is to disable. Vita Chambers, so you need to turn it on so that Vita Chambers are disabled because there is a trophy connected to that guys you need to complete the game without them on and normally as soon as you start a level you'll respawn at the closest ones you need to make sure it's disabled before you actually start the game and begin the game, go into easy difficulty go into easy difficulty and I'll explain all in a second because there's quite a long intro here and you can't skip it, so I'm just going to take a moment to explain me. what you can expect Son, from this walkthrough and a few things you need to bear in mind. And then if I'm done explaining that all early, I'll skip ahead to where we really start the game. You know what? Okay guys, so yeah, there's a few unskippable cutscenes in this. There's not too many and they don't last that long, but there are a few things you can't skip in this. Now, how are we going to do this? So, there's quite a lot of missable trophies here. The main ones we need to think about is the one for the Vita Chambers, but I just mentioned that at the start. Make sure every time you start a new part or load the game back up for the first time, or even if it crashes, you need to go into options and you need to check because there are a few glitches with this where it can your options can reset to what they were at default. So you need to keep an eye on that. You want to make sure you save the game regularly because without Vita Chambers on, there'll be no auto saves except for when you enter a new area. So you'll need to make a lot of manual saves in case you accidentally do something we shouldn't have or the game crashes or, or you die for example, like that. Um, to begin guys, there's another unskippable cutscene just after this. But to begin, you've got to head towards the um, sort of light bulb tower ahead. There it is. Tower of a big light bulb on top, just head to that tower, you go through the fire, it doesn't hurt. Just go through that tower up the stairs, and then you need to go inside, go down, and you enter this like um this sort of a transportation device, and you go inside that, and then it'll be an unskippable cutscene again for about a few minutes. Um so and then that's when you sort of get into the main part of the game. Yes, uh so you've got that thing with the beta chambers, always keep keep an eye on that always, guys. The same with the difficulty, I'm doing this on easy, but there is a trophy for doing this on the hardest difficulty. But there is a glitch, so you can go through the game. This doesn't work on every version by the way, it works on PS4, but with the PS3, uh, PS3 it only works on certain versions. But PS4, as far as I know, it works on every version. This is a, on the collection by the way, a buy shot collection on the PS4, which was free on PS Plus. Probably about a year ago now, probably not quite. I think it was early this year or late last year, it was free. But yeah, this is part of the Bioshock collection. And I'll be doing Platinum here, and I'm going to be doing the DLC trophies after this. I'm going to separate this via level. So we're going to do a level, that'll be the end of that part. And then the next video will be the next level, etc, etc. Yeah, so difficulty, similar to Vita Chambers, sometimes the difficulty will reset as well back to what is at default which is medium so you need to keep an eye on that as well the thing is with difficulty if you try and change it in the option menu it will say it will say if you change difficulty it can affect trophies now if your difficulty just does get reset the way around it and i have tested it does work you want to make sure you save your game then you want to load a new game then in that load game change your difficulty once the sort of game loads in and you resume control then load your other save back to resume where you were and the difficulty should be changed back to whatever you set it in your new game basically I'm not sure what it is I think it's some of your profile sometimes your profile gets the settings on your profile gets reset for some reason I don't know why it happens but you can just change it by loading a new game change them settings in the new game and then when you load your previous save back up the settings will be back to what you change them with your new game so if your difficulty just get reset guys back to medium just load a new game change it back to easy and then load your other save back up and then it should be back on easy yeah do not do it in game on the options menu and then make a save because like i say it can affect trophies but doing it that way it shouldn't affect the trophies 
I actually have to do it here. I'm not sure why, but um, when I got to medical pavilion, I checked my difficulty and it said medium. So I had to do that. Um, but you will see the trophy still pop in medical pavilion. Yeah, so we're doing this on easy. We're doing this on easy, guys, and we're going to do a glitch at the end to get a survivor trophy really easily. But if you do not want to do the glitch or if it doesn't work for you, if you're playing on one of the old PS3 versions, then I'm going to do a new game plus speed run quickly on the hardest difficulty with everything carried over um, at the end of this so if you don't want to do a glitch don't worry it just means you can do another playthrough you can start on survivor and do platinum that way but it can it can be really difficult that's what i'm doing on easy here when it comes to collectibles and stuff by the way i'm gonna i'm gonna point out all the important stuff like audio files um tonics and that i'm gonna point all that out weapons i'm gonna point all that out um, so please bear in mind. I try and put timestamps for things like that in the, in the description. But when it comes to actual loot in the world, it's sort of it's sort of random. Um, it's sort of random. But you'll see me getting quite a bit of loot in, along the way. And I try and point out what I'm looting, just so you know where things are that you can loot. But when it comes to them, I will be going through pretty fast. But when it comes to main collectible guys, I will try and stop, show you them, show where we are on the map before we move on so this is a sort of speed run but it's not i'm trying to focus it around you know you guys watching the beginner watching so you can see what i'm doing if i go too fast you can go through this very fast it may be hard for you to see what i'm doing so i'm going to do it that way just to make it easier for you to follow right i can't believe it's took me so long to explain all that about six about six minutes but i think i need to get all that out of the way guys just so you know where we stand with things and what you can expect going forward so this is where you begin yeah that thing with glow in the dark the glow in the dark hooks for hands the splices we come along oh, come across a lot of them and later on we're going to have to take pictures believe it or not uh, but we're going to pick up this radio to begin with and there's only two this first area this first level in this video you cannot come back here guys anything there's only two files here that you can miss there is one um, plasmid but a story related. Yes, two audio files. If you do not, that's Vita Chamber, by the way. Two audio files. If you do not get them here, guys, it means having to do a new game. But I think I think audio files that do carry over, so it's not the end of the world. But yeah, make sure you do collect everything here that I do when it comes to audio files. Now, this is wrench here, one of the weapons. There's a trophy for upgrading all the weapons. You can't upgrade the monkey wrench, um, but you need to get this anyway, story related. I believe you grab this and yeah you can look in the options you press the touchpad and you can sort of review any tutorials and this and there's a map in there as well um, but you come up here quickly melee this guy we're gonna loot his body get some uh, first aid kit and some Eve gonna loot this trash bin over there your loot might be a little bit random loot this trash bin here there's some potato chips on the floor there and gonna loot this trash bin here You'll find in this first sort of area, a lot of the loot is sort of fixed. You probably get the same as me, most more or less. There's another first aid kit there and another Eve, and they're going to come across over to sort of vending machine and get the electric bolt. This is one of the plasmids. Yeah, this is. It reminds me of a little bit of Black Ops Zombies, just the way some of the mechanics are. I mean, these vending machines. It's very much like the perks in the um, the perk machines in um, Black Ops Zombies. It's same with the pack up, the pack a punch machine as well. You'll see later. But um, I I didn't look into it, but I'm curious what came first. Did this did a uh, Bioshock come first, or did Black Ops Zombies come first? Because either way, it seems like some of the ideas have been taken from one and the use in the other. But this is another unskippable cutscene here. These are the splices. Just checking you out here. Uh, but they get, they get scared off by the big daddies. The big daddies, by the way, they they protect these like little girls, these little sisters, and you have to sort of um, rescue the little sisters. And there's an option to harvest or rescue them. There's a trophy for rescuing them all, and if you press harvest, even one, it will avoid the trophy. So when it comes to the little sisters, I will mention this again later when it comes to it. But when it comes to the little sisters, make sure you rescue them all. And it can be very easy to press the wrong button, by the way, because it's the same button as reload. That's why it's very important you save a lot. Save a lot. Yeah, here they are. And then Big Daddies, they're actually quite 
tough to kill and high difficulty. Even medium they can be very hard. Yeah, even medium can be quite difficult. So if, if you have gone on a high difficulty, even medium, and you find it too hard, guys, just do like I said, um, put it back on easy. And um, yeah, because medium can be quite difficult. So after you've got that electric bolt, we're going to shock that thing on the door there. And I'm going to make way over here. So you, you use the L buttons, L1 and R2, to control your plasmids. That's a sort of weapon. That's in your left hand, your sort of power on your left hand. And then the R1 and the R2 button control your actual sort of firearm or your melee weapon, if you're talking about the wrench. Uh, but we're going to come in here, loot that trash can. Got a first aid kit and an Eve type. We're going to come here, take this Eve off the mattress. We're going to loot this crate. Eve and a first aid kit in there. Just getting a bit of um, inventory, I guess, ready for the next video, I guess. In here, you've got that enemy. You're going to just zap him and then melee him. And then we're going to loot that Eve off the floor. We're going to loot his body for first aid kit, that corpse. We're going to grab the cigarettes off there, the salt and vinegar crisps off there. We're going to come up to this door and it will open. We're going to zap him and then hit him. When you zap an enemy, yeah, you're going to loot him as well. When you zap an enemy, they take they take a bit more damage if you're very quick to attack him straight after. So we're going to zap this guy fire, then quickly melee him and then get in the lift. Yeah, that room we're just in before, where the um, where we came in from, where the water crashed through. You sort of have to walk. You have to walk down the steps and then turn around and then just move away, just move around until they see that splicer dart from left to right or right to left. And then when you go into the room ahead, you normally spawns. But yeah, just that first enemy after coming in from the sort of tunnel where the plane crashes. If he's not there, just move around for a bit and here we appear. Yeah, I think my difficulty is actually on medium, so I'm, I don't quite do as much damage here. If you're on EC, you should kill him a lot quicker. I think I did set it to EC, but for some reason I'm on medium. So once you get up here, turn right over here, and we're going to zap her, melee her, and then we're going to grab the revolver from the pram, and then we're going to loot her corpse, first aid kit. And we're going to loot this trash can on the right. First aid kit. Like I say, some of this loot might be a little bit random, guys. Might be a little bit random. But all the main stuff, it will be the same. Now, it's audio file here. Audio file. That's New Year's Eve alone. Audio file. So, we're going to grab that. And this is where you find them in. That's where you find them. Welcome to Rapture. Medical Pavilion. Click on that and you see it there. Diane McClintock. New Year's Eve alone. And that's where it is on the map. The red arrow that's pointing to where you are. I'll try and do that for every main collectible. I'm going to pick up the dollars there and the Eve typo. Now after that, we're just going to head back up the stairs. That's all we need from this sort of um, bottom floor in the restaurant. We're going to come around here into the toilets at the back. And there's a first aid kit just behind the toilets there. Probably got a bit of piss on it, but we'll take it anyway. Hole in the bathroom wall. That's an audio file. That's where it is in the back of the toilets. That's a second audio file here, guys. That's number two off two. That's all the audio files. So make sure you've got all them, very important. Then we're gonna come right to the men's side of the toilets. I'm gonna come in the back here. Once you come in here, the door locks behind you, so make sure you get the audio file before you come in here. Make your way along the top of the theater, come down the steps, and there'll be another little cutscene. This chapter, you can get through this chapter literally in like, well this level, probably in like five to 10 minutes. But um, I'd have to go through it a bit quick, and you, you guys, pro you might miss a few things. You might miss a few things. What you find when it comes to loot, what you find, it doesn't matter too much to to begin with. But once you get to level, I think it's level five, four or five, you'll start you'll start finding sort of crafting materials, and you'll have to you have to loot a bit more then. To begin with, it doesn't matter that much if you are looting everything. I am i don't loot so much in this level, but in the next level, I do try to loot most of the stuff we come across, just because it's a little bit random. And there's a trophy for hacking 50 things. And if you hack stuff manually, it can take a long time. I mean, each one could take like a minute. It's gonna loot this corpse, smash the padlock. 
Yeah, if you hack stuff manually, it can take about a minute, but I just buy, I buy the hacks, because it's so much quicker. But to buy hacks, obviously you need money, and that's why you need to try and make sure you do loot stuff, because you need to keep an eye on your money, and stuff can be random. So we're just going to kill these enemies as you come across, uh, just because it will give you a bit of loot. So it's going to kill all these. And I am taking, when I loot a body, I am just taking a moment, as you see. So I just want to see what I'm getting to begin with. But when we get to the next level, I will be looting stuff much quicker. And here, electrify the water with your plasmid, your electroplasmid, and you'll get a trophy there. Toast it in the tub, loot these two corpses, and also loot the big daddy here, the corpse. That's it, because here I have quite a lot of money on him. The big daddies do have quite a lot of money. And the big daddies, they're these robot type enemies. The ones with the drill, they're the bouncers. And the ones with like a gun arm, they're the rosies, by the way. They're the rosies. So come over here, that's going to close on us. I'm going to loot the trash can, loot these containers. Then we're going to kill the guy in the toilets. Because this is like a scripted thing, you have to run over to that uh, gate so it closes. And then you'll get ambushed. Yeah, that trophy, toast it in the tub if you didn't just get it. You can get it over here. Basically, it's just for electing, electrifying some enemies when they're in the water. And then that kill them. Toast it in the tub. So, this bit is glitched. Another enemy is supposed to come down here. But some, sometimes you'll glitch and you run away. You can just see him in the corner. There he is. So I'm just going to kill him from here. Yeah. Normally I would have loaded my game, but I didn't. I didn't save. So really, when you, before you drop down here, you want to make sure you save your game. Yeah. That and that second enemy should have come down, and he should have killed him. But normally, when you've killed the second enemy, when you've killed them both, that wall will explode. You see, and some more enemies will come through. And I'm just going to kill these again. Just going to electrify them. There we go, we're going to loot their bodies afterwards. We're going to loot their bodies. There we go, it will damage you a little bit, but it's not too much. Yeah, so I'm just going to loot their bodies. There we go, make sure you looted them all. And that's pretty much the end of the level. And then we'll come through here. And there'll be another, another unskippable cutscene, guys. And then we're going to Medical Pavilion. So, yeah, this area, you can't revisit this area. But there's one other area, but it's near the end of the game. But every other area after this, apart from the other one at the end of the game, you can revisit them. You get like a sort of fast... It's not fast travel, it just lets you move from area to area. A sort of bathysphere, uh, sort of teleport, uh, transport thing. So you can revisit areas, but the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to sort of 100% every area when we visit it for the first time. So we don't have to, we don't have to backtrack. There will be some story progression which will take you back to early areas, but unless we have to do it via story, we will not be backtracking at all. Backtracking at all. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the first part, guys. And what you can expect going forward: the plasmids. There's not a trophy for getting all the plasmids, but there's a trophy for getting all the tonics. We haven't got any tonics yet, but going forward, you need. To, we're going to have to keep an eye on tonics. We're going to make sure we hack stuff and later on when we get a camera you've got to take pictures for everything it can get a little bit annoying taking the pictures but once you've got it done you won't have to worry about it and then you've got the crafting later on and the next part is where you find the first sisters which we will be rescuing guys yeah so that's it for the first part guys welcome to the rapture two audio files in that level that's all you need in that level two audio files that electro bolt was um Missable, story related, and you'll get a trophy when you come in here. This door will open, and story trophy completed. Welcome. So, when you first load the, the game back up, make sure you come into options and just make sure it's still on easy and the disable Vita Chambers is still on. Now, so getting straight into this one, so you come over here. Here is your first audio file released today, and that's where it is. So that's why I've come on the map. I like I say, I'll show you this every time. And we're gonna grab all this loot, handbag, the till, a few dollars on the floor, Eve, the first aid kit and the corpse. Just gonna loot all them. They're gonna come over here to this sort of broken turret. We're gonna press square to hack. And so we're gonna hack this quickly. And yeah, this is somewhat random, this hacking. There is a bit of a pattern to it, but I'll, I'm not going to bother explaining it's not needed. So here, I'm going to buy this. Buy out for $10. So we've got a trophy there for hacking a bot and for hacking a vending machine. And I bought out the vending machine, guys. 
that's the audio file here Adam's changes this is where it is that's audio file number two in the metal pavilion there's 17 audio files in this area by the way so make sure you get a second audio file gonna kill this guy loot the corpses here and then loot that container yeah with that vendor machine I, I did do it quite quickly but when you highlight when you highlight something you can hack or when you press square to hack you get like a little menu tells you what you can do and if you have enough money the buyout option will be available so I've just flipped that switch by the way I'm gonna kill this splicer thug spli uh, splicer come in here pick up the tommy gun that's a weapon flip that switch and then we're gonna loot that container yeah it's gonna be a few enemies to kill in a second but on easy shouldn't be a problem I'm just using my wrench here just save the ammo because you can get short on ammo but the wrench kills them on easy you can just use the wrench guys it saves you having to look for ammo all the time yeah when it comes to hacking stuff guys like I was saying the buyer option will only be available if you have enough money and I only buy it out if it's 15 or less dollars you don't want to buy anything that costs any more than that just because you run out of money only if it's 15 dollars or less buy out the hack and if it costs too much then don't even bother hacking hacking it takes too long and you don't need to do it buying things buying hacks will still count for the trophy i'm just going to pick up them dollars there i loot the body and i also loot the handbag I'm going to come down here there's a corpse here it's got some dollars inside or something else like i say loot is a little bit random but i'm just showing you where everything is that you can loot and everything important so i'm just waiting for that little uh, dialogue there i'm going to press that and there's a audio file there higher standards audio file number three that's where it is yeah make sure you get this audio file guys number three I'm gonna loot that trash bin loot the corpse I'm gonna come around here first we're gonna zap this hack we're gonna zap this and then buy it out yes yeah, $40 but I do want to hack I do want to buy that one so that turret you have to zap turrets before you can hack them that was only $10 yeah, I did hack that one um, that was 40, but that's the only one we're going to do that costs 40. So I'm looting that container, that shelf, and then them two crates down there. I'm going to come down here, turn right, and come to this water. There's an ash tree there, you can try and loot in a bin here. As an audio file, vandalism. That's audio file number four, guys, and that's where it is. Yeah, that's a vandalism audio file. So grab that. And I'm just seeing if these are going to cost 15 or less. They don't. When it comes to buying things out, I think it's a set value. I think it is, but just in case, I'm just I'm going to keep looking. There were a few enemies here. I did check that health station, but it cost 34, so I didn't bother. There's some cigarettes there and the ashtray you can loot. There's a corpse here, some items around it, and there's another audio file. Limits of imagination, guys. Limits of imagination, and that's where it is. Get that audio file. We're going to come back here into the middle. We're going to loot this ashtray. Loot that ashtray. This health station, it only costs 10. So we're going to buy it out. We're going to loot that corpse. Loot this ashtray. Another audio file. Love for science. Yes, yeah, so make sure you grab it. That's where it is. Love for science. We're going to loot that corpse. We're going to come over. We were just here earlier, by the way. We we're just coming back after having killed all the enemies. Gonna loot that till. And there's another audio file here on the counter. Parasite expectations. There you go, that's where it is. And he's gonna loot these things around here. Got a corpse here, got a trash bin, a few bits on the floor. I think the loot on the floor is always fixed. It's what you find inside something, which is a little bit random. So it's gonna come down here now in the um fire hit thingy the more I can't remember the name of this now oh yeah internal flame I'm gonna kill this guy quickly it'll be a bit stronger because he's a nitro splicer but he died quick enough another audio file here guys surgeries Picasso there we go that's where it is in the um, eternal flame crematorium you got a tool there you can loot this desk loot already you got some flasks you can loot that. I think they just give you a bit of health uh, there's a cabinet there you can loot Come around here. Now get ready to zap this quickly before it sees you. There we go. You need to be quick to zap them. And you're going to hack that. Same with the turrets. You have to zap it before you can hack it. And we just sent that um, body into the uh, furnace. And you're going to get a 
Tonic here. And this is where it is, Tonic. You need to collect all of these for a trophy. There you go. And that is the Hacker's Delight Tonic. Physical Tonic. Make sure you grab it. The way you equip tonics, it's a little bit weird, by the way, guys. It is a little bit weird. I'll explain it all a bit later when we get to an unskippable cutscene. In here, there's a bit of ammo left for your machine gun. You've got a cabinet here you can loot. You've got a few things there. I'm going to kill this enemy quickly. There you go, loot the body. That's a uh, flammable liquid on the floor, by the way, so just be careful of that. You've got Eve there. It's not nothing to worry about in this difficulty, but I'm just making you aware. So you've got another tonic here guys, In well sorry, plasmid, incinerate, you need that, this is story related, you need it, incinerate, the plasmid, that's where it is, top of the morgue, well the eternal flame, crematorium, I'm going to loot that file cabinet, loot the desk, grab the bits and bobs on the top, typewriter there, save it if it's Resident Evil, but it's not, uh, so I'm just going to kill this for you enemies, you're supposed to burn these to life, but I just do it this way on, on EC, you can just do it that way. So just kill them enemies, looted them quickly, and leaving that. Yeah, on the high difficulty, she would have to burn that. Um, but on easy, you can just do that. Come back out here where we were before. Do that body. And now we've got the incinerate. We can burn that ice and melt it. Now, once you get in here, go left. And loot the body that falls out of the coffin. Kill that perp. Grab all this, and once you grab that pistol, this secret door will open. I'm going to zap the turret, I'm going to hack it, and then I'm going to buy it out. It's only $10. That's safe. If it's, most safes do cost quite a lot, and if they do, I don't bother. But I always check just to see how much. Remember, it's got to be $15 or less. We loot that corpse there, grab a bit of loot in the cabinets. Once you get the trophy for hacking 50 things, by the way, you don't need to hack anything anymore unless it's something you want to hack. So in here, I'm going to loot the corpse, loot the cabinet, loot this cabinet. You've got a tonic here, guys, an engineering tonic, and that's security expert. Make sure you grab that. And I'll show you the map, that's where it is. So it's sort of in the twilight field area, in the bottom, the southernmost part. In the morgue. Once you come back, you'll get ambushed just by a doctor. But you can kill the doctor. There we go, it's pretty shit anyway. Once you come back out there, turn left, kill this splicer, grab a bit of loot around the area, and the code for this is 0451, 0451, you can hack these later by the way, um, but they don't normally cost a lot, there's an automatic hack tool, grab that, and then grab the other loot in there, the automatic hack tool, you don't need them, but it can come useful later, I have no idea how that corpse got folded up underneath that counter. He's trying to hide, but something obviously went wrong there. Got stuck. Uh, you got crates here to loot. A few crates, if there's anything inside. There's a vendor machine there you can try and loot. There you go. Uh, sorry, hack. It only cost $10, so I'm going to hack it. Loot this. And then get your electric bolt out and zap that. Loot the bin. Loot the cabinet. Loot the crate. Automatic hack tool on the desk. Loot the other bits and bobs in there and then come out. Get your incinerate ready. I'm going to melt this ice. And you've got audio file there, guys. Freezing pipes. And that's where it is. Freezing pipes. Make sure you grab that. It's lodged in the ice. Luckily, it still works. Kill the doctor. Thuggish, the thuggish splicer. Come in here. Loot the corpse behind the counter and the money. There's a turret there, we're going to zap it, and then we're going to hack it. You hack, there you go, only $10, so I'm going to hack it. We're going to loot the cabinet in the area, loot the till, bits and bobs on the floor, cabinet. That cabinet, nothing inside it. I'm going to come in here, get ready, there's going to be security camera, loot that body there, loot this cabinet. Uh, security camera up there, and then we're going to try and hack it. Sometimes they're too high, you can't hack them. But this one you can just hack it, there you go, only $10, it's going to hack it. Get the ETH off there, the cabinet. And it's a safe there, obviously you can't afford it, because no buyout was shown, so that means you can't even afford it. So you wouldn't have got it anyway. Look at the corpse, audio file here guys, Enrage Trial. There you go, Enrage Trial. Got a little bit of loot in there. This vent makes you come in here as a tonic. And this tonic's pretty good actually. It increases the damage of the wrench. Grab all the loot in here. 
got some ammo, you've got some cabinets, bandages. Another cabinet. There you go, wrench jockey. Yeah, that's a combat tonic. And that's where it is in this sort of little hidden room. Yeah, that increases the damage of your wrench. So make sure you get that, guys. We'll be using the wrench quite a lot on this. Not for big daddies, but we use on every other enemy. So it kills them in almost one hit. Cabinet there to loot. Back out here. And then you got a shotgun here, another weapon, the shotgun, guys. So grab that, grab all the ammo around it, that's where it is. So sort of in the cure all area. Okay, grab all the ammo, light it. Lights will go out. You can loot this corpse, it's got a lot of first aid kits on it. I'm just going to reload it, and then I'm going to get my spanner out. You're going to get ambushed by about five enemies now. They're very spliced to see you. There you go, knock them all out. Uh, three, four, should be one more. I think it's only five. Oh no, it's six. Trying to trick you. Okay, there you go. Just loot all them. And then come in here into dentistry. And there's audio file that useless experiments. So this is the area to the east. Useless experiments. Grab that audio file just near the doorway. You get the telekinesis ability here. That's why I came in here first. Well, plasmid. Corpse head to loot. Two cabinets. And there's a safe here. I think you can buy this one yet. Yeah, only $10. So we're going to buy that. We're going to get a trophy for a hack and a safe. Even though we technically didn't, we um, purchased a hack, but um, it counts, so that's good enough. Testing Kinesis audio file here. So it's in the cure all area, just before the telekinesis plasmid. And here's the plasmid, guys, telekinesis. And make sure you swap this with the incinerate. Yes, yeah, so that's where it is. Yeah, so to get more slots, you're going to have to swap it out. And you cannot swap things on the move, by the way. You have to find a certain machine. So swap it with incinerate. So that you keep the electric bolt on you. So, yeah. It's the inventory, when it comes to you... So there's a bit of loot there, guys. Till and a bit of loot in the counter. Yeah, so when it comes to your sort of tonics and your plasmids, you sort of have to find... You have to find machine to, so you can change them. It's pretty weird. So I'm just going to hack that health station. $10. Going to loot that corpse. Then we come around the back here, we're going to get telekinesis ready. You loot that trash bin. Loot that corpse. Don't worry, it's just a turret shooting at you. You see that key on the wall there? You need to use telekinesis, bring it to you, and then press X to pick it up. Press that buzzer, get ready for your electro bolt, and then shoot that security camera to hack it. Well, then press square afterwards even to hack. Come in here, kill these few enemies, grab all the loot. A few cabinets here, bit of loot on the floor. There's another security camera, so get your electro bolt ready. That's it, zap it, and then hack it. Buy it out, $10. And this save only costs $10 as well, so going to buy that out. If you accidentally replace your electro bolt, electro bolt with telekinesis, by the way, you can just destroy these turrets and uh, security camera. Don't worry too much about it. It just means you're going to ha have to hack a few more things later. So there's nothing really of value in there. I just come in there for a bit more hacking and a bit of loot. There's nothing like of great importance like a main collectible. So this uh, turret, just gonna hack it. Uh, sorry, zap it and then buy it out. Is it loot on here behind the counter? There you go. See our dollars it's getting quite low. Right? We're on 30. But coming here after that mist, you got a tonic and you got an audio file. The audio file is plasmids. Are the paint, I think it was called, or plasmids from the paint. And the tonic, oh yeah, plasmids are the paint. And the tonic is Speedy Hacker. That's an engineering tonic. Make sure you grab that, guys. Then there'd be, you get a bit of a scene there. You get forced to turn around, and when you turn around, there's be that dude just standing there. And just knock him out with your wrench to kill him. Not that vent off, not this vent off. And, um, kill that splicer there's an automatic hack tool on the desk there grab that grab the loot off the desk open the door and that's about it in this sort of area the court court all area it's going to loot that ashtray nothing in there well we can head back up the top now and there'll be a nitro splicer here to begin with that's it you can just zap him and then knock him out in one hit and then we're going to come around to the middle now. There we go, we're going to head into the surgery. 
This is where you need a telekinesis. Telekinesis is a story ability. You do need it to progress. So it's a crate here just on your left when you come in. That guy, he's going to run off and um, detonate that. Going to loot that trash bin. Going to come over here. And I can't hack that. But I can hack your cell station. $10. And a guy will spawn up here on that balcony. It's going to wait for him to lob a grenade. Then you're going to grab it for telekinesis and lob it at that debris. He can, he can kill him actually and you can try and pull him towards you. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But he, he has about $20 on him. That's us trying to pull him down. But um, he's got stuck, stuck on the railing. So um, I have to give it a miss. Yeah, it's got entwined around the railing somehow. Uh, so audio file here guys, cemetery. Cemetery audio file, there it is in the surgery foyer. And you can loop the corpse in the wheelchair. Loot that corpse there. Loot the handbag. Loot that corpse. And just wait a minute for this gate to open. Don't try and kill this. When I try and kill this, the enemy or that um, drone, sometimes it's a bit glitched out. So I'm um, just wait for the gate to open. And then zap the uh, bot. Hack it. And then zap the turret. And hack the turret. There we go. Buy it out. There we go. There's a tonic here. Just next to that corpse. Static discharge. Yes, yeah, uh, tonic here, guys. Static discharge. Make sure we've got that tonic. And they're going to head into this back room. Get your bolt ready. It's going to be a camera. There you go. Just electrify it and hack it. Only twelve dollars. So I'm going to get it. A bit of loot here. The safe, obviously too expensive. Going to leave it closed. Then you're going to come through to the middle of the room. And so audio fire here, guys. Aphrodite walking. Yeah, so just on the cabinet, that audio file. Got a bit of loot there, got to loot the cabinet. We're almost at the end, the boss is through here. Just going to loot this health station first. Sorry, hack it even. Only $10, just going to hack it first. There's some slot gun shells there, slot gun, shotgun even. Shotgun shells there, some crates, there's an ashtray there, another crate there. And there is the boss. Now you just need to wait a minute for him to finish blabbering. And uh, then you can head inside and kill him. But just to the left of him, there's a yellow canister. If you grab it with telekinesis and lob it at him, it does tons of damage. The explosive canisters, by the way, or barrels, with telekinesis do tons of damage, even on high difficulties. So he'll shoot this glass down in a second, and you can get through. I'm just going to grab that and lob it at him. There we go, one hit, knockout. Then you want to loot his body. I'm going to loot the crate, you'll get a trophy there, defeated Dr. Steinman. Yeah, you get the emergency access key from him. We're going to kill have quite a bit of ammo. Right, it's going to do a bit of looting now. It's got a container, that container, that container. That health station only costs 16. Going to hack it. This safe only costs $10. Going to hack that as well. There you go. You've got three first aid kits in there if you need them. First aid kit on there. Going to come back up the top. There's two cabinets on the left here. And in the middle here, where the Dr. Steinman was originally, that corpse, if it's not on the bed, it may have fell down with the explosion. Loot the corpse. There's got an audio file inside it, not what she wanted. Yeah, some audio files will be inside lootables, something you need to loot. So make sure you loot that corpse for that audio file, guys. Do not miss that important. And now heading back, sort of through the area now, back to the start. You'll get ambushed with by four enemies here on your way out. Just knock them all out for wrench. The wrench jockey and then loot the bodies. As you make your way back through, and we're going to encounter some little sisters in a second. Yeah, come through here, and now you can go through the door on your left, which is open. The door head is blocked now, as you can see. You have to come through here. Yeah, that bouncer has nothing on him, he's completely empty off lootables. So it's a little skippable cutscene now. So, um, what I was going to mention with the yeah with the tonics and the plasmids, you can't you can't actually access the inventory for them when you press the touchpad. You can only access your sort of ability inventory. You know, like the tonics or the plasmids. The tonics are like they're sort of passive abilities, by the way. The tonics and the plasmids are things that you control. You know, on your hand, on your left hand, and. Um, you have to find a station to actually change them. 
You have to find a, a gene station to change the tonics. And the gap, I think, I can't quite remember where you change the impassments. Um, you change your passmage, or the passmage might be gene stations and the tonics somewhere else, or, or the gaffer's garden. But basically, I will mention it when we get to them in the next video. Uh, but you change them at the stations, you'll come across a lot of them in the next video. So here, you've got a, your first sister. You may want to save it before you actually encounter these because if you press square or by accident, you see there it's got harvest on the left and rescue on the right. If you press square by mistake because you're reloading, you can, it'll harvest there and there's nothing you can do to stop it other than load a safe. So make sure you press triangle, make sure you rescue them. And when it comes to Adam, by the way, it's gonna loot that corpse, these two corpses and then the crates on the right. When it comes to Adam, you only get a infinite amount you do not get an infinite amount you can't farm it you only get a certain amount in the game and at the bottom of the screen there it shows you how many little sisters are in that level on the right the red one is how many how much adam you have and on the left is how many dollars you have yet on the bottom of the screen in each level it'll tell you how many sisters in that level and how many you have if it's got a big daddy next to it in the little image that means you haven't found that sister yet and yeah, when it comes to Adam, you only get a certain amount, so only buy what I advise. Don't just go buying anything, because if you buy certain stuff, you'll not be able to get all the tonics or, or some other trophies connected to it, and you can miss some trophies. So, very, very important, guys. Only buy what I advise. Okay, so just wait for this curtain to open. All we need behind it is the audio file. There we go. Audio file, guys. Gatherers Garden. That's the last audio file here. And that is the Gatherers Garden. And that's where we are, guys. Yet. And these are all the audio files you should have. You should have 19 audio files now. The two audio files you got on the first level, Welcome to the Rapture, will be in this sort of tab. So it should be 19 here. Should we got them all. You should have all these files. Yes, that, that Gatherers Garden I just looked at a vending machine, guys. Do not buy nothing from there. I've just shown you. And make sure you've got that audio file in front of it. There's a crate here. And on the way out, we're going to come across another big daddy with another little sister. So these big daddies are very tough, guys. They're very tough. So keep your distance and you can keep using the electric bolt on them. These are very, very tough on high difficulties, but they're not too bad on um, EC. So I'm just using all my shotgun bullets and I'm just going to switch to my Tommy gun, my machine gun. And that's it, he's dead. Going to loot him. They always, this is a bouncer. They always have a lot of uh, money on them, the big daddy. So make sure you always loot them. So there's a little sister there. Again, make sure you rescue her. Make sure you rescue her. Now, when it comes to these, later on, it's a little bit random how they spawn. It's sort of, when you first begin a level and go through for the first time, so I just got a rescue that sister and got 80. As you can see at the bottom now, I've rescued all the sisters on this level. And just head into the end of the level now, guys. Yeah, so um, it's it's a little bit random on levels where they appear. Because it's sort of like enemies. Enemies, when you go back through areas, sometimes enemies will sort of respawn after a certain amount of time and in certain locations. It's the same with the big daddies. Um, but sometimes when you, the first time you go through an area, they are sort of set spawns. And then later on it becomes a little bit random. So it's going to hit that switch. There we go. And that will open the way ahead to the next area. And you've got a crate on here. And then we're going to head into the bath spear. This thing, by the way, when you use this bath spear, I'm just going to make a save at the end of the area. Just in case you didn't miss anything. You need to reload it. Yeah, sometimes when you're on another level. And yeah, so you can teleport now, guys, with this bath spear. Yeah, if you're on another level and you find a big daddy. If there's no little sister next to them, you can just... They're not hostile until you attack them. If they're alone, they'll normally walk to one of their little holes where the little sisters escape into, and they normally do respawn one after a certain amount of time. But I'll explain that a bit later. But that's it, guys, for that part. Medical Pavilion, that's the second level. In the next level, we'll get the camera. And it can be a bit annoying getting the camera, but I'll explain it all then. This is level level three, uh, Neptune's Bounty. So it's quite a lot of things to bear in mind here and we get a camera here as well so we're still looting everything random and we're still hacking certain machines which are cheap to hack like this one for example that's a gene bank by the way where you can swap out your genes loot the corpse 
Remember, the loot is a little bit random, so you won't get exactly the same as me. The main thing is going to keep an eye on main collectibles. But you still do want to try and loot some things here and there. So you've got some loot here, got a corpse. Yeah, just so you've got a bit of money and you've got ammo and stuff. You see if you, you can hack that. No, 28, I'm not going to hack that. Too expensive. Right, so Rosie here and the little sister. So we're just going to lob this at him. Yeah, telekinesis. These did quite a lot of damage. Now he's going to electrocute him now and use the shotgun. There we go, got him. Remember with these little scissors, make sure you press triangle. You do not want to press square and mess this up. If you do press square and harvest them by mistake, you have to reload the save. So remember to always rescue them. You'll get 80 Adam from her. And that should be your third sister in total in the game. And then loot the Rosie. He has quite a lot of ammo on him. Uh, come over here. Turn around. We're going to hack this. There we go. And you got a tonic here, guys. Physical tonic, medical expert. Yes, you've got a tonic just here. Right, we're we'll going to get another uh, turret to hack. The hacking trophy, by the way, the hacking trophy, um, where you got to hack more than 50 things, it carries. So if you reload the save, it will already save how many to your profile. So you could, in theory, just keep reloading the same save and just keep hacking the exact same thing 50 times. Like make a save, hack it, reload, hack it, reload, hack it. You could keep doing that 50 times and pop the trophy, just to let you know. But we won't have to do that. So just hack that and there's a audio file just behind him. There it is, Bathyspear Keys. I'll show you where it is on the map. So that's in the lower wharf, Bathyspear Keys audio file. E Hypo there. Got right, a minute way up here, kill these punks. Do their bodies. Around here and just corpse here and a little bit of loot around it. You've got another gene bank there if you need it. And because you've rescued three sisters, sit at the bottom there, there's three sisters on this level. We've rescued one here and two on the previous level. Basically, every three sisters you rescue, you get you get like a little gift like this near near Gathers Gardens. So you're gonna get 200 added from this one, hypnotized big daddy, uh, plasmid, and some armor piercing rounds. And then we're going to come into this Gathers Garden and we're going to buy both plasmid slots, 100 Adam each. You get a trophy, they brought one slot. So you got that one and then we're going to assign the incinerate there and then we're going to buy the other one. There you go. And now that's all we're going to buy. You should have 240 Adam remaining and you've got four plasmids now, four plasmid slots. So that's all we're going to buy guys. After that we're just going to jump down here. If you're on a high difficulty, watch out for that turret if ice rockets at you. Yeah. Are you going to come under this water, under this sort of uh, sewer? Are you going to enter this code here? Too, this costs too much to hack, by the way. It's 53805380. There you go. And behind here, you've got that corpse we can loot. We've got an audio file. This is Timmy H. Interrogation. There you go. Timmy H. Interrogation. There you go, just grab any other loot around the area uh, quickly. I'm not getting all the loot by the way, I'm just grabbing sort of stuff I pass. Mostly, mostly. Uh, so this costs quite a lot to hack that one, yeah, 66. And I'm just going to destroy this. Because that's quite expensive to hack as well. Don't know what's going on then. Right, yeah, just destroy that rocket to it. Come in here, sprint to the back, and knock on this door. Then while we're waiting for the dialogue to play out, there you go, knock on the door if you wrench, because we don't know how to use our hands. And we're going to hack this. Yeah, it's only $10, let's hack that health station. And while you're waiting, you can grab a bit of loot in the area. There you go, so let the dialogue play out. Remember, to, I've got to say this, but... Um, Obviously, whenever you start a new level, always make sure difficulty is still on easy and disable Vita Chambers is still set to on. Yeah, I should have checked that already. Right, so after this dialogue, there's going to be a new enemy type here, the Spider Slicer, the Spider Perps. There we are. And 
this specific one, he's just got to bring his health down so much and then he'll run away. Like, look how he is. Uh, so you can only bring it down so much and then he'll try and run away. There he goes. Go on, run away. Go on, jog on. Well, he's not really jogging there, but I think he gets the point. Right, and uh, once you killed him, we'll wait for the store to open. Well, once you took his health down enough to scare him away, to make him realise how tough we are. This door will open, and um, a gate will open up ahead, so we can head to the next area. Yeah, got to find the research camera now, and you're going to love this. We love taking pictures of things, don't we? Not really, <laughs> but we're going to be doing it anyway. So it's going to make our way back. Oh, hello, you. That's it, you lay down there. Right, Eve type power there. Oh, I've got a maxed out, no wonder. And uh, we want to head down this drain here because there is a collectible down here. There's 19 audio files on this level, by the way. 19. I think we've got three already. Uh, so you've got an audio file here, guys. Fontaine must go. There it is. Grab that. Oh, thank you. But I don't need it. That was bait. It's booby trapped. Right, so I'm just going to kill these punks. Wait. What are you talking about, guys? Can't fill me in? That's one more out here. Thinks he's safe over there. But nobody's safe. Right, and just make our way to the top here now. It's going to be another big daddy. These big daddies, you can leave them to a bit later till you get a camera. But the way they spawn, it's sort of random. It's sort of like time on a timer. So for now, I just get them as soon as I come across them. Right, you've got an audio file here. Guys, finding the sea slug. And that is here in Upper Wharf. That's it, finding the sea slug. Going to come around here, kill this enemy. Kill this enemy. Electrify that turret. And then we're going to hack it. So it's only cheap. And then we're going to kill this Rosie. There you go. The turret should help you if you hacked it. There you go. Once you got it, be careful. You do not harvest the little sister. That's always... Right, coming to me. He's dead. Bubbles is not coming back. Right, harvest this little cute thing and uh, purify the evilness from her body. That's it, make her pure again. You're welcome. Right, Thank she's you. been welcomed. Hey, any day. Right, gonna loot the Rosie. Always got lots of money. And this corpse here, it's got an audio file picked up to me H. That's just, well, it'll be in this area. He may be somewhere else, depending if the rocket's knocked him out of the way. So just, he should be in this area, that corpse. And there's an audio file down here. Masha come home. Sort of same area. Just near that um, little sister spawner sort of thing. Right, let's push on. Open that. Right, loot this dude. Get all that. There's going to be uh, security cameras in a minute, by the way. And there's the audio file here. Watch Fontaine. And that's just here. Uh, too expensive to hack. Right, these security cameras, I'm pausing the game by the way to explain these things to you because like I said the big daddies are on a timer and roughly the time it takes me to do this I know where the third big daddy is going to spawn to me but I'll explain that a bit more when we get to that point. So security cameras, if they spot you for too long um, you go into like a security state for like a minute you get tonic data which can decrease it and stuff but um, during that time bots will keep coming after you and each time you kill the bot another one will spawn until that time is finished now, to stop the security cameras, you either have to destroy them or electrify them. Now, you want to electrify them and hack them, really. That's what you want to do. But it's first, all this, these ones we're going to pass in a second. We're going to leave them all. We just want to zap them and then run past them. Because later, we're going to come back up here and we're going to take pictures of them. So, we don't want to hack them or uh, hack them or destroy them. We just want to zap them and then run past just to immobilize them for a second. And then later on, when we come back through, we're going to take some pretty pictures for our photo album. Right, so, yeah, just electrify them so you don't set the alarm off. There's another one here. We'll loot them crates quickly, make my way up. Come around this corner. Around here, smash that lock. Now, there's two over here. Just going to zap it quickly so I can get past. Come over here. 
smash that. We're going to hack that camera because... No, it don't matter. It's been destroyed now. Never mind. Yeah, because that, that camera normally disappears for later. Well, it probably doesn't disappear. It normally just gets destroyed um, when I'm playing. But we'll come through here. See it throughout the cell, throughout a little hole in the wall. Just going to grab a few loot as we pass along here. Loot all over the shop. Come through here and you're going to get the research camera now. Here it is. Now, let me just grab it first. First aid kit there. Right, so with the research camera, when you're locked on somebody, you can zoom in one time, by the way, by pressing R3. When you're locked on to somebody, the red core in the middle, it, normally when you're not looking at nothing, it's just like a small circle in the middle, right? But when it's got a target, like an enemy you can take a picture of, it'll be rotating. There'll be like a larger reticle, like a focus sort of um, reticle sort of thing, and it'll be rotating. And when it's when you've got a larger reticle, which signifies it's found something and it's trying to focus, that means you can still take a picture of that enemy, but you normally have to be focused a little bit for it to work. If you've just got a normal, if you've just got a normal standard reticle that's there by default when you're not looking at anything, that means you can no longer take a picture of that enemy. But if there's still sort of a focus icon, you can still sort of take a picture. Now, normally you can take three good pictures if you get close before you start to lose focus. And then if you're quick and you're close, you can normally get a few more. So you can normally always get three good ones quite easily. But then after that three, you normally have to be very specific in where you're standing to get one. So if you're close to an enemy, you can quickly spam the button about four or five times and just try and get as many as you can. Um, but like I said, most time you can get three. Right, so this guy, um, where's my camera? There we go. So if you get rank A, well, that's rank B actually. Yeah, once you do get a rank A, you'll get a trophy by the way. Didn't get rank A then. But you see, I've got four then. And I couldn't get a fifth. So I'm just leaving it there. Come around here and there'll be another enemy. And we actually got rank A on that one. You get a, you get a trophy for rank A, by the way. And then I'm just going to spam it quickly. There you go. Yeah, I only managed to get three of him. But I'm going to loot him after. I'm going to loot these filing cabinets. And then we're going to drop down here. There's a tonic here. Um, so there's the tonic. On the sort of upper part, of these catwalks in the upper wharf. Security bullseye. Well, it's a plasmid actually. It's not a tonic, sorry. It's a plasmid. It's plasmid. But I'm not going to replace anything. Shotgun here, ammo. There's another audio file. Um, Adam Discovery. So that's here in this box of cucumbers. There we go. I oh, know it's fish, not cucumbers. Don't listen to me. Right, so I'm just going to take a picture of this guy. So I'm just going to spam it quickly. Oh, we've got a physical tonic. Yeah, what you'll find as you hit different levels with each of the enemies or the bots, you'll get tonics and you'll get little perks, and they're actually really, really helpful. So I don't want to replace anything. There we go. I think I've maxed it out. Right, see if I can. Uh... No, it's too expensive. Now you only start. You don't start off with many photos, by the way. Uh, much film. So you may not be able that camera. Do not take pictures of it yet. Come from here, first aid kit. Uh, audio file. Shit, I got that one a bit too quick. Uh, a lot box here. Let me just go through that audio. So there's an audio file here. Just there it was. An audio file. And let me just show you what it was. I went through that one a bit too quick. Right, so um, let's move on. No, too expensive to hack. Right, so because we don't have no film left, we're just going to sprint by the security camera. We're not going to loot anything for time being. We're just going to get some film. We're going to sprint past all these enemies. Here you go, some film here. Too expensive to hack. We're just going to buy film. Normally, it's not too much. Just buy all that film there. So you've got 100. Turn around. Right. So we've got to take pictures now, guys. Always take pictures before you just kill something. So we've got this one here. There we go. Just got a um, new research level. You know when you get, you know when you're at level five, by the way, because you'll get damage uh, plus three, basically. Yeah, you have damage plus three. Right, it's so an audio file here, by the way. A uh, death penalty in Rapture. An audio file in this jet postal area. Death penalty in Rapture. Audio file. There we go. Right. Take some pictures. So this is a leadhead. Oh, he's already dead. 
This is Leadhead Spot Splicer. Oh, she's got another tonic from that. Static Discharge 2. So I've got quite a lot of pictures from that one. Sometimes you'll find of us and me. Um, you want to try and, when you take a picture, by the way, try and make sure only one enemy is in the shot. Otherwise, it sort of wastes photos when there's other enemies in the shot. Right. Idiot. He died a bit too quick. You can take pictures of dead enemies, but you don't really get much score for it, by the way. Right, let's get this loot. So this till has quite a lot of money in it. 20, well, 20 some dollars. It's a film there. Right, come around here. It's going to be a security camera. It's going to zap him. Take pictures. It's too high to hack. And we're not going to hack it anyway or destroy it. We want it to, we want it to spawn bots, basically. We want it to um, see us and make security. So that when the bots come in, we can just um, keep taking pictures as we go through a level. There we go. And you got a spider slicer here. Oh, trying to run away, of course. There we go. Got quite a lot of pictures of that one as well. Yeah, spider slicer. So make sure you get pictures of him. So that is part of the mission, actually. And going to get a bit of this loot. There's some money on here. Some money there. And some money there. Right, let's take pictures of these bots as we make our way through the level. Watch your health, of course. These bots, by the way, it's best to, um, yeah, stun them and then take pictures because then they're in one place then. I was going to hack it. Right, once you hacked one or destroyed it, another one normally spawns in. There we go. Get some more pictures. Got another tonic there. Security expert two. Right, don't let me hack it no more. Oh, there we go. Right, so um, hopefully we'll get another one in a second. There we go. Zap it. Take some pictures. Right, it's not letting me hack activate it for some reason. Uh, hack it even. Let's just destroy it. Right, and now we're going to come and take pictures of this camera now that's over here. Remember, don't destroy it. We want it to spawn the bots. Once you get to level 5, by the way, with, um, with a certain enemy, you don't have to do, take pictures no more. So it's an audio file here, Fontaine Smugglers. And that is sort of in this area here, Fontaine Smugglers. There you go, get that audio file. Right there, so you tow it somewhere, where is it? Oh, there we go. See, that's increased damage, plus two. I can't hack it, so I think you can only have two with you at a time, that's why I can't hack it. Right. Right, when we come through this door, by the way, it's going to be a spider slicer, but it's only going to be there for literally a few seconds. So get your camera out, be quick. There you go. Quickly get as many pictures as you can of this guy before he jumps out of the way. There you go. I managed to get five pictures, that went too bad. Right, let's get his. Oh, shit, I destroyed it by accident. Right, let's take pictures of these guys. Another one up here. There we go. So, just got a trophy there, guys. Fully research gun splicer. And you can see on the screen increased damage plus three. You'll know when you got level five because you'll get increased damage plus three. So, I don't have to take pictures of the guys with the guns no more. The, the lead splicers are the, the enemies with the weapons, by the way, just the normal firearms. And the guys with the melee weapons are the thug splicers and the ones that climb on the walls, they're the spider slicers. And the ones with the grenades that lob the grenades at you from the little box, they're the nitro splicers. And obviously you've got your bots and your sisters, little sisters. Right. Right, where's that turret? 
Where's it going? Right, so over here. Um, too expensive to hack, so I'm just going to buy. I'm just going to refill my film, guys. Probably getting a bit low. Yeah, make sure you keep an eye on vendor machines when you go random. So there's an audio file here. Uh, meeting Ryan. And that is just here, the fighting McDonough area in this uh, water area underneath. Make sure you grab that. Right, we're going to take a picture of another security camera in a second. So I don't need to take pictures of the guys, the thug splices, no, uh, lead splices no more, sorry. Right, let's get some pictures. Yeah, I'm not going to hack it or destroy it because I want the bot to come, the bots to come after me, guys. Right, and then we'll just make our way through the area. That's him destroying it. Who's that? Oh, there's another one. Right, so these spots, it seems... You can only sort of take three pictures before you sort of lose. There's L station there, but it's going to cost too much. Right, oh, here's another one. Once you get level five of these, you won't have to do this no more. Just good, a good way to get the bots out of the way early. They keep spawning in here, don't they? Oh, there we go. Bots level 5 now. You don't get trophy for maxing the bots, by the way. You get trophies for maxing the enemies. Um, but you need to get level 5 of everything. Right, it's a turret under here, which we're going to take pictures of. Right, guys, just going to come in here, take pictures of this turret. There we go, we can hack it afterwards as well. Um, right, hacking that safe costs a little bit too much. And uh, just loot the room quickly while we're here. Corpse there. And um, I actually died here, guys, had, and I didn't have, because I haven't been saving it. I had to bloody edit all this out and uh, get on my way back here. Just to let you know if things do seem a bit off track. And um, that would be why, but everything should be fine. I've, I've tried not to hack anything while I've made my way back here. Yeah, I can't believe I bloody died. Um, anyway, got a file here, guys. Rapture changing. Um, just in there. So, rapture changing. There we go. We've got a bit of film there. And just so I can loot anything on my way. Right, uh, where did he come from? So, just gonna unlock that door. There we go, with the um, bolt. Loot the till. Kill these two enemies quickly. There should be two, two of these here. Lead splices, there we go. Once you've got them, there's an audio file here. Smuggling ring. Smuggling ring audio file. There it is. Grab that, and there's another one in it. There's not really much to collect in this sort of bar area other than these. Working late again. Another audio file that's just here near the stairs, near the stairs leading downwards. There we go. Now get your camera ready because in the toilets there's a nitro splicer. Let's come around here, try and get as many pictures as you can quickly. There we go, and knock him out. Right. Loot the area quickly. Not really much in this other than him. Right, up the stairs now. There's going to be another one just up here. I'm going to get ready to zap him because he normally runs away. There we go. And. Right, where's he running off to? Right, and once you killed him, he's going to come over here, and the code for this, guys, is 7533. 7533. There we go. Now, coming here, we're going to grab an audio file. Now, when this audio file is finished playing, there's going to be a little secret in this room. That picture's going to fall down, basically. So, Saw Masher today. That's the audio file, and that's where it is. So, we're going to come back in a minute. It's going to let the audio file finish playing. 
We still a bit looting while we're waiting. So I'm just going to open this door. Because there's another audio file in here. So here it is. Arrest in Fontaine. And there you are. McDonough top floor. Right. Let's get rid of this leather splicer. Got a bit of loot in here. Just making our way back in here now, guys. To so get a tonic. Now the audio file finished playing, this picture falls down. I can get this tonic. Shorten alarms. This is where it is on the map. McDonough top floor. And then once you got that guys, back outside to the corridor. Be a spider slice in a minute, can I hack that? No, it costs too much. Oh there he is, he's already come. Oh and he's killed himself. Oh it's a leather splicer, thank god for that. I thought it's a spider slicer. Yes, you come in here. I think you have to come in here anyway, because you hear that music when you come in. I think coming in here spawns the spider slice the spider sp uh, splicer outside so I'll grab the loot quickly you can't hack this it's cost too much 64 right so let's go and um there he is on the ceiling there let's knock him down all right got enough pictures Right, just um, there's a bit of loot here. Oh, they killed themselves, fucking idiots. Right, and now we're going to make our way down here now. And there should be a nitro splicer down here and a bot. There he is. Thinks I can't see him, idiot. I can see you got a fucking big red circle around your head. <laughs> idiot. Yeah, even though you can't see him, you can still take pictures for some reason. Right, that's it. Well, he's got a nitro splicer. Let's make our way out. Right, on your way out, make sure you restock on your film. There you go. Make sure you restock on your film, guys. And coming back out here now, kill him. That's it. And then take some pictures of this turret. And then we're going to zap it and then hack it. There you go. Zack and hack. There we go, down here now. Back outside. And, um, oh yeah, take a picture of this security camera, almost forgot. And I'll hack it now. We do not want to alert bots anymore, because we've already uh, done all the bots. Well, it's going to make our way through here. And come through here, there should be a big daddy here. Just about to make his way through. No, he's not here. Alright, we'll come back down in a minute. Normally there's a big daddy there, but he's not there for me. By the way, them first two big daddies we encountered on this level, they're almost always in... Oh, here he is, he's already here. Because I've taken a bit long. Yeah, he normally comes around here. So, I'm just going to wait for him. Let's get some pictures of him. Of Rosie. There you go. Yeah, obviously I took a bit longer. Normally what will happen is where I just went, he's normally walking through there and he walks around this hole to um, pull out a little gill. And I'm going to try and get a little gill as well. Right, once you've got pictures of them both, right, let's kill them. Well, kill him anyway. I'm not going to kill you off. Careful when you're reloading, remember. And I'm going to loot the Rosie, $54. And I'm going to rescue. I almost said harvest, then I almost said harvest. Yeah, it's going to rescue her. Don't be afraid. Right, there we go. That's all the three. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see I've done all three of the sisters. Right, now just before we head back, we're going to come up here now and do a bit of hacking on the way. Uh, so I'm not hacking, taking some pictures. We can get film from there on the way back down. 
So screw it camera there. And Yeah, I'm just gonna destroy this one. It's too far away to hack. There we go. Let me destroy it now. And it's gonna be one round here. Pictures, then we're gonna hack it. Now look, if you see here, if you sometimes if you move, you can get another picture in. No, it don't look like it. Okay, hack that one. Right, so it's gonna be a lot of turrets here now, which we can take a lot of pictures off. So I'm just gonna do a lap around here. And I'm gonna hack them at the same time. There we go. Let's do this one. Hack it. This one. Right, hack it. I hack automatically now, as you saw. And then you can take a picture of this one and then destroy it. This one costs, because it's a rocket one, it's going to cost quite a lot. Oh no, we don't have to pay anyway because we, it doesn't cost anything now. Right, just loot the area quickly. There's some crates there, come around here. And up here, you've got a sort of dead rosy corpse we can loot. It's got quite a lot of money on it. That's too much to hack. The E typo there. Over here, just going to loot the filing cabinet and the desk. A few enemies spawn in when you sort of do a lap around there. The turrets should make quick work work of them. Right through here, there's going to be a security camera in a second. We'll zap it, take pictures, and try and hack it, but I think it's too far away this one. Yeah, this one's too far away. Oh no, my controller's slow. I won't be long. Right, got a audio file here, guys. Half my badge, and that's just here in the sort of wolf master area. There we go. It's going to take that out. It's going to loot the area quickly. Say, cost too much hacks. So we're going to leave it, and we're going to come out here and take pictures of a nitro splicer. We can come back through here now, but we're just going to come through here just take pictures of a nitro splicer. And then we're going to drop down as well. There he is. What's this shit? Yeah, that's it. That's all my pictures. Right, let's get rid of her quickly. Right, we're going to drop down here, guys. And we're just going to buy some film. No, that one doesn't sell any. Um, but this one over here will. Yeah, so we've done everything there. We're just going to make our way back down now. But we're just going to buy some film first. And just over here, this vending machine has some film. There we go. Yeah, it's going to stock up on film. That's it. Right, let's uh, crack on with the story. Yeah, so um, there should be all. There's 19 audio files on here, so we should have most of them. We've got all the little sisters. Take that, take that. Right, we're going to come over here and we're going to grab this tonic wrench lurker which has appeared now. New combat tonic. And once you pick it up, a spider splicer should spawn. There you go, jumps up. We're just going to let him come over here then we're going to knock him down. I completely missed there. Right, let's get some pictures. Right, that's it. The punk. Right. Took care of him. Loot him quickly. Right, there's gonna be another security camera down here. Right, I'm just gonna hack it. There we go, right, let's go to the boss and then leave this area guys. Go into the next one which is um Smuggler's Hideout, I believe. Right, so now you've taken the pictures, we're going to knock on this door. 
Now, you haven't got it already. Grenade launcher here. Yeah, so Peach Wilkins, he's a nitro spy, uh, splicer, and you can actually take pictures of him. And we're going to need to incinerate quite a lot here to melt ice. Yeah, you're going to need to light a flame here. There you go, melt that, and you'll get a last uh, tonic this level. I think it is Focus Hacker. There you go. Focus Hacker, Eve Typo, Corpse there. Yeah, you've got a gene bank there if you do need to get incinerated if you haven't got your crit. Well, we're going to put all our weapons away, guys, into this pneumatic tube. You have to do this, otherwise you can't fight the boss. And the boss is through here. Right, so first of all, we're going to come over to this camera. Take some pictures. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, I need to hack it first. There we go. Well, let's take some pictures. You drop all your weapons off, but you've still got your camera. And, oh, I've, I've maxed the security cameras. Awesome. I've maxed the cameras as well. I'm going to hack it. Right, it's got to wait for the boss to spawn now. Uh, but while we're waiting, uh, if you come around here got a health station that's sort of well it's quite hard to tell you got a health station that's quite cheap to hack so I hack this one and there's a turret at the back here as well which will open in a second well, there it is I'm gonna say where is it Let's take some pictures well I've just maxed turret as well I think right let's hack this turret now you can join my team. Right, where's the boss? The Nitro Slicer. Peach Wilkins, there he is. Yeah, you can take pictures of him. He counts as a Nitro Splicer. The welder. There you go, got some nice pictures of him. Right, where's she running off to now? Here he is. Week. And we got him. Defeated Peach Wilkins. Got the trophy for that. Right, so um, in this area, guys, you can defrost all this ice, and there's a bit, there's a little, little bit of loot in them little uh, sort of vaults, but um, there's nothing of great importance. So I'm just going to come down here, put my, get my weapons back out of the tube. Make sure you don't forget to do that. And these are the pack a punch machines. Well. Power to the people. Um, you don't have to upgrade what I do. If you want to upgrade a different weapon, you can do so. But I'm going to upgrade the shotgun and rate of fire. So that's really that's quite good for um, killing Rosis. And you get a trophy for that upgraded weapon. And there's a trophy for max upgrading every weapon, by the way. And least limited, so we need to make sure we reach every single one. You can only use one once. So you need to find every one. Right, well, going to melt that. Melt that. And we're going to come into this one first to the east. Uh, there's going to be a nitro splicer in here and the last audio file. Here he is. Uh, it'd be nice to get the nitro splicer finished before going to the next level. So, killed him. A uh, little bit of loot in the air if you want to have a quick look. That save cost too much to hack. And got last audio file guys putting the screws on and that is just here right and just before we leave I'm just going to show you how many audio files you should have so if you have missed any you can just quickly go back now before we do the level right so audio files come into Neptune's bounty dash dash smugglers hideout and you should have 19 guys so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, you should have all of them. If you haven't, if you're missing one, then look in the description and you'll find the link, uh, the timestamp, sorry, to take you straight to whatever collectible you're missing. You can see where it is. And uh, go back and get it now. Just go back. And then once you're done, 
come down here guys um, melt the ice around here so we can escape and make sure you've got quite a bit of film left I've just got 90 I've got quite a bit if you haven't got much film go back to a vending machine and get some just in case you know you need it for this next part you will still need it just in case it's a while to get to another vending machine that sells it right I'm just gonna make a safe just to be on the safe side now we're gonna have to really really focus on this one it's a long one as well we've got lots to focus on three whole collectibles yeah that's all there is on this level just three collectibles we've got to keep track of um, right so we're just gonna grab a bit of loot as we come by so I just grabbed it from them crates and um, yeah make sure you've got a camera ready yeah so just loot anything you come by quickly uh, it's probably nothing really good inside them, but you never know. After all, it's random. Right, P, see that turret in the back? He's gonna have to, we're gonna hack him. But I think I fully hacked the turret, so I think I'm okay. But we're gonna find out anyway. Uh, sorry, not fully hacked. Yes, I've taken all my pictures. Right, and there's the audio file here, guys. Meeting with Fontaine. That's one of three on here. That's here in the storage cave. The dark storage cave. Yeah, some loot on here. Eve, shotgun. Some of the crap. Right over here. And two more files to get. Oh, there's a corpse there. He looks like he um, had a bit of a gruesome end. Right, fucking I'm... I can't stand up straight. <laughs> I'm fucking pissed here. I need to hold up, hold back of the alcohol, don't I? Right, got to open the hatch. So make your way around here. Yeah, this level's there's literally nothing to it really. I probably could have included this on the last one. Um, control panel. Let's use it. It looks interesting. It's yellow. Yeah, I probably could have put this video on the back of the previous part, but I decided to do it separately. It is a sort of different level, and um. It gives me a bit of a break before I get into the next one. Because some of these levels, I have to literally go through them like five or six times before it sort of becomes, you know, I learn it off by heart so I can sort of do it. I know where everything is without looking down at something. Because when you have to keep looking down at things, it, it does interrupt your flow, especially when you are trying to record. Um, but this one, I only went, I've only been through it twice. It's so small. Yeah, we're just going to stand here and um, watch him die. Oi! Splices! Where? I can't see any, it's too misty, Atlas. Oh, we can go now. Right, so yeah, through here. And get camera ready, it's going to be Spider Slicer. Hello, you. Oh, what happened to her? Oh, she didn't quite go down the way she thought she was going to go into. Okay, search her. Right, get rid of these punks quickly. They're only thug splicers, so I can't take pictures. But I can kill them and loot them. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because nobody opens fire on me. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Right, you? I'm going to take a picture. Stop fucking doing acrobats. Stay still. Oh yes, fully researched splicer finally. Nice, so got a splicer done. Hopefully you guys did as well. Right in the cell, that's the audio file that's been really naughty and it got locked up. So Kraut Scientist audio file guys, that's number two. And there it is. So it's nowhere. No, it's just in this cell in a sort of in the maintenance tunnel area. There you go, a bit of loot in here as well. Right down here. Oh my eye, fucking Jesus fucking hell. Fucking scared me. You ooze in like an assassin and then you try to shoot. Right, and there's the last audio file guys. No, it's not called cream filled cake, it's called offered a deal. And this is where it is. Yeah, basically what happened was Atlas offered a deal for cream filled cake. And I might do the same later. Yes, yeah, so that's the last audio file on this level, guys. Over to the trash bin, because I love looting bins. Nothing inside it. So we're going to come over here and go to the next area. And that is it. I hope you've been able to stay focused that long, quite a long level, that one. 
But this next one's going to be quite a lot. We're going to start collect, uh, collecting crafting materials on this next one. We're going on to Arcadia now. Uh, level 5 this is. And just before we get started, just make sure your difficulty is still on easy. And disable Vita Chambers is still on. Now, there's a new sort of mechanic that becomes available here and it's sort of crafting it lets you you can now craft sort of ammo and things like that at like machines um, but the materials you just find them randomly inside containers and stuff and loot it around so just make sure you try and loot what I loot um, corpse there and just like normal I point out any collectibles main collectibles so that's a seeing ghosts audio file and it's just here guys in the tea garden near the beginning seeing ghosts audio file and there's 16 audio files on this by the way two little sisters and two tonics big night out audio file there guys and that's in the tea garden as well and there'd be another one sort of in this same uh, garden area just across here near this chair and there you've got a mass producing adam audio log yeah we also get a weapon here and we also get a weapon and um, obviously we'll be taking some more pictures. There's a new enemy type here, which is pretty annoying. Uh, we're going to come around here, just grab this loot, uh, frag grenade, and you've got a grenade launcher, container. And these Houdini splices say keep teleporting, they're really annoying. Really annoying. Begin with this one sort of scripted, you have to, he'll keep running away. There's nothing you can do, it's like an introduction to the enemy. Just come over here, loot the little lock box, get your camera ready, turn around and quickly get some photos off him. There you go, try and get five if you can, two containers here. And after that little scripted sequence, he'll teleport away again. In order to max their level in, in terms of research, you want to be trying to get five pictures with each of the Houdinis you come across. So he'll normally teleport in, normally when he teleports there, you can kill him and that solution has got a chlorophyll solution, we need that for later guys, so you, you do need to kill this anyway because you need a chlorophyll solution, which you loot from their bodies, the Houdini splices. And here, we've got the Arcadia Closed audio file, this is number 4 out of 16, there's a gene bank there, yeah so that's Arcadia Closed, and there's the automatic hack tool if you need it. If you haven't got the trophy yet for hacking 15 machines, obviously still make sure you hack things that you come across. Obviously, not very too expensive. Things will be a lot more expensive now, but you can still sort of hack turrets. Uh, sorry, not turrets. Um, cameras for sort of similar price. And you've got another splicer. You've encountered this one before, but now I've got a camera. It's the Fug Splicer. It's just like a normal splicer, but it's got a melee weapon. So you need to make sure you take pictures of these guys. Remember, you'll know when you're on level 5 because you'll get uh, damage plus 3 to that enemy type and you'll no longer be able to take pictures of them. So yeah, just keep taking pictures of these enemies with the melee weapons, the teleporting enemies, and obviously you've got Rosie and, um, Rosie and Jim. No, Rosie and the little sisters. And if you still haven't finished turrets and the bots and the cameras, try and do that here as well but I did finish my pictures in the previous parts for my turrets, cameras and bots. So there's a machine to hack here and it's quite expensive so I used the automatic hack and I'm just stocking up on film on that one. Always make sure you stock up on film when you can. I'm just going to zap this door on the left. You've seen how much that health station costs. Yeah, it's quite expensive. It's going to zap that and uh, another thug splicer there you find with your static just charge tonic you know when you get hit by an enemy you uh, make a shock wave and that can kill him quite quick on AC so later on we're going to try and turn that off just make it a bit easier to um, take pictures of enemies when they're a bit close to you so um, I am avoiding a few rooms but mainly because um, you know I'm just sticking to rooms where sort of we have to go into anyway um, you can loot the other rooms if you want that I don't go into. Uh, but a lot of rooms you will have to come back to anyway later on as the story progresses on this level. So natural camouflage, you actually get that from taking from I think level 2 or with the um, Houdini Splicer. There's another Houdini Splicer. And going to loot the cups. And that's what the U Invent machine looks like. This is what they look like guys, U Invent. And that's what you use for crafting items. Now as a trophy. 
for crafting one. Excuse me. <laughs> There's a trophy for crafting 100 items, but it becomes easy later because you get tonics which reduce crafting requirements. But similar to the hacking, um, if you make a save, invent 10 items, reload that save, invent 10 more, it all sort of saves on your, on your um, profile. So do not invent anything, guys, until much later. And here's another Houdini Splicer. I'm gonna get as many pictures as I can, then I'm gonna kill him. There we go, and then loot his body because he drops chlorophyll solution. Yeah, you need these chlorophyll solutions for later, guys. You need it for later. And always try and loot random sort of stuff like I am because we will need them crafting materials later. Now let's look, uh, Rosie? Yeah, Rosie there. And is it a Rosie? Or a bouncer? I think it's a Rosie. Yeah, it's a Rosie. And we've got a little sister there. Let's make sure. Try and get pictures of the Rosie when the little sister is not in the picture, because otherwise it may ruin the pictures for the little sister. And once you've got rid of him, take your pictures of the little sister, and of course, make sure you do not harvest her. We always need to rescue these little sisters. Now, because this is your sixth one, every every three little sisters you rescue, you get a gift, as I mentioned in a previous part. You get a gift that spawns at Gatherous Gardens. And because that's a sixth one, you can have a little gift that spawns, but there's always a little sister that spawns to present it for you. So you can get another you can get some more pictures of the little sister when they spawn in for the gift. There you are. So just got a few more pictures. And you get 200, 200 Adam, you get a new tonic there, safe cracker and some electric book shots. And Gathers Garden, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy plasmid slots, the engineering, the physical, and the combat tonic slots. Just gonna buy all the slot, guys. All the slots. Now, what you might wanna do here, if you can, is um, do not assign any static discharges, because like I say, when you try and take pictures in an enemy melee you, melee shoot, it can kill them. And when you try and get them five pictures, you need to be sort of close to the enemy getting five you don't have to fill a slot if you just press circle on an empty slot when it's trying to make you assign something it will back out and you will not assign anything to it and um, if you do want to change up your tonic selections just remember you need to go to a gene bank and uh, we've got one just there behind this fug splicer Yeah, it's actually just like then static discharge can kill them and there's a gene bank just there so it's a security camera here i'm gonna zap it it's a bit too far for me to hack so um i'm just gonna destroy it if you haven't maxed the research yet on them take a few more pictures of that one down here there's nothing really down here it's a houdini splicer that's why we're coming down here for houdini splicer there's just enough houdini splicers on here by the way to max out the research on this level and it'd be nice to get Houdini Splices out of the way because they are very annoying. And then you won't have to worry about taking pictures of them no more. So I'm just going to stock up on some more film. We're going to come around here and there'll be a Houdini Splicer just in this room we're coming to. And they all sort of teleport when you first see them but you can get a few pictures off. I've got four there. So I would like to get one more. There's not much in this room. I just loot that container there. You can see you get that... Um, that crafting material and then he should be out here that Houdini I just want to get one more picture so I've got five now it looks like this one ain't going to give me five so let's get rid of him and then we can loot the chlorophyll solution always loot this chlorophyll solution from the Houdinis right so back up here and there's a tree farm ahead but we can't go in there yet we're just going to head in here and um, into the rolling hills. Danny got a turret there, so I'm just gonna zap it in a minute and then hack it. We got Thug Splicer, still need to research them, so I'm taking some lovely pictures there. Grey day photos. Zap that, hack it. When you hack it automatically like that, I don't think it counts towards the 50 hacks. Um, there's another audio file here, and there's a Rosie just coming up. It's gonna get three pictures while the little sister is not there. Do not kill him. And then that photographer's eye tonic, by the way, which I just got, make sure you assign that because it increases what you get. So you've got that audio file there, guys. Make sure you grab it. Shouldn't have come. Audio file in lower 
rolling hills. Yeah, so we're going to leave that Rosie, and by the time we come back up here, he would have spawned a little sister. He would have spawned a little sister. Yeah, so like I say, this audio fire, guys, it shouldn't have come. And it's going to grab us a bit of loot, come down here. And when you come to this big sort of open garden here, make your way over to that door ahead and it should activate a little sequence where the door will close and a load of gas will come down and we want to trigger that. Another camera here, we're going to hack it. Uh, grab a bit of loot. Loot the corpse over here. And then uh, go and have a chat with um, lovely Langford, Julie Langford. I think that's her name, was it Jane? Yeah, so that Atlas finish um, blabbering. And then she'll come on the uh, on the TV. There's cameras here somewhere where she can see you, but I can't quite see where they are. And then after this, basically, you need to backtrack a little bit because there's a room we can go into. Well, we could go into the room before, but now we can um, extract a rose. Yeah, we, we didn't have the ability to pick flowers before, but now we do. So after she's finished chatting, Julie, me Julie, yeah, once she's finished, we can actually exit the room then. She's locked all the doors on you. She will not let you leave. She wants you to listen to her. There we go. The door is open. We can now collect a rose specimen. Now we will be able to max the thug splicer here as well. There we go. Fully re researched the thug splicer. Wow, the, al the photo album is complete. And now these sort of little caves have opened. The little Houdini splicer nest. Well, it's not really a nest. There's only one in there. It's more like a, a home. And you've got an audio fire here, guys. It's Saturnine. Saturnine. There you go. It's just in here in this first Houdini hideout. So over here, you've got one chlorophyll solution. Right, so you do need to grab these. You need them for um, a main story. And I believe you need some to craft tonics later as well. that become available later. Now that Houdini Splicer will be around here somewhere. We want to take pictures, kill him, and then loot him in that order. There we go, got a chlorophyll solution. And there's little sister. I've already taken pictures off the Rosie. Uh, let's just make sure, yes. Right, so just get rid of him. Remember, make sure you do not harvest her little sister. And there's only two little sisters on this level. So it's going to loot them. Always loot the Rosies because they have tons of cash in their pockets because they always take little ro they always take little sister to the shop to the vending machine to get something for her so taking my pictures I'm very close to getting the next level with her so I'm just trying to find out obviously there's still a picture available but it just won't focus so um, alright gonna give it a miss I maxed that current level on the next level which will be the level after this level so, all the little sisters, we've got done them. So, um, another Houdini cave. So, we're going to loot that container, storage crate, and uh, come over here and get the chlorophyll. Oh no, the bowl fell off. Chlorophyll solution. What could have done that? Oh, it's you. Oh, what, what the fuck? Did he? <laughs> he tried nicking all the alcohol. Nice try, mate. Nice try. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It's a bit buggy with them if you try and hit them while they're about to teleport. Right, so um, that's it. Got him. Got my pictures. Killed him. Loot the chlorophyll solution from his corpse. Rest. No, do not rest in peace. Just rest. And then make our way up here. Back sort of where we've got that first... Um, Little sister and Rosie, I'm going to come in this room now. Uh, look, uh, loot these enemies and the corpse. And there's a tonic, guys. The first tonic, which you sort of collect on the floor. The security evasion. Yeah, grab that tonic, guys. And you've got an audio file in here as well. There it is. The market is patient. Yeah, that's just here in the... What's the name of this place? Can't remember now. Um, oh, yes, yeah, Waterfall Grotto. Now, careful you don't invent something by mistake. I'm just taking them heat-seeking RPGs, because why not? I want some. And we're going to come down here, and we're going to jump. Just check if he's got anything. Just going to jump down here. 
turn around and then come through. Watch out for spider webs. And I'm gonna zap and hack. I'm gonna loot the container. Loot the handbag. Loot the corpse. See, she didn't let her handbag go, did she? She'll never let that go of that handbag. Not even in death. Now there's a the rose. So that's the rose, guys, which we need for the story. Grab the rose. And you got uh, audio file here. No, it's not storage crate. I think we already got that in the last part. Um, we're just going to get rid of this fucking stupid turret gun that's annoying me. There's one up there as well. Um, so, audio file. Just there on the crate next to the roses. And it's called Early Tests Promising. And that's next to the sort of rose bush. And just going to come down under the steps here. Loot the container. Loot the corpse. And there's another audio file here. You can't quite see, so I'm a little bit drunk. But there it is. Offer a better product. Uh, as, long as, I've got, as long as it's got alcohol in it, I'm happy. Offer a better product. There you go, that other audio file there, guys. So there's two audio files down there near the rose. It's going to come in here because there's another audio file in here. It's going to grab a loot first to begin with. And then come around the corner. And there it is, heroes and criminals. And that's just through that door which we had to um, give it power to unlock. So screw it camera here. I'm going to hack it. I've got much research already. Yeah, the, the security camera's still pretty cheap. Still pretty cheap. Going to hack this. Now these security wires, they do do a bit of damage to you, but you can like, um, you can pick up something and move it through it and they will detonate it. Um, obviously on easy they're not too much of a problem, but on high difficulties they could do a lot of damage. So be very wary of trip wires. Right, now we've got the rose. Let's go back to la uh, Lady, uh, Julie, Julie Langford, so back down here, and back into the research laboratory, or Therese, there you go, in a second you'll get the prompt and you can put it in the little post box, there we go, Numo tube. And just in this first room in here, we've got a tonic and an audio file. So tonic we're going to get in a second. It's that one on the desk, hacking expert and the audio file here. What weren't they steal? What weren't they steal? And then here, yeah, that hacking expert tonic. So you've got tonic here, guys, and a audio file. Now let's grab all this loot. There is a chlorophyll solution here on top of the filing cabinet. There it is. But if you see place to put that, actually it falls down. Could be deadly. Teaching an old hound audio file there, guys. Just in this next room on the um, one of the centre tables. Teaching an old hound. Now it's going to loot everything in this area. Remember, we need the crafting materials for later. So let's loot all this crap. Filing cabinet. Yep, that helps. This is quite cheap. Twenty-two dollars. So I'm going to buy it. Going to loot the corpse in here, and in this water you've got um, electric gel, 25. I'm not sure that's needed for anything or helpful, crafting material wise, but take it anyway. Another wrench, we now have two wrenches, wow. We can uh, akimbo wrench the enemies, dual weld. Right, so um, yeah, I loot the wrench, loot the corpse, loot the liquid nitrogen, and then we're going to come up here, there we go. There she is, Julie Langford. The botanist, botanist, or should we say Dr. Hugo? She's um, Hugo's descendant. Sure. <laughs> Most of you think, what the fuck am I talking about? So, she will die. She will be poisoned by the green gas. You know, that green gas is toxic, but luckily it's the air is purified quick enough for us to go inside. Luckily. Or maybe we're just immune. Who knows? I did not read the files. We're still open in a second. There we go. Automatic door. And we're going to loot her corpse because she's got a file. The Lazarus Vector. Yeah, loot Langford's corpse because she's got that file. Lazarus Vector. 
Uh, just gonna loot in the room quickly, and then we're gonna get a new weapon, the chemical thrower. A new weapon here. Look at that monster. It's like a thunder weapon. Uh, not thunder. <laughs> I mean wonder weapon. And in the safe, the code is nine four five seven. And I'm sure you can work out where the code is for this. So Lazara's vector vector formula. It's an audio file, and it's inside the safe. Yeah, it's going to show her darkest secrets, and obviously we've got the key that we need to progress. Yeah, she wrote down the code for you. It said with her last dying breath. Bless her. So it's two thugs. And basically all the security system are all active now and they're hostile. So it's a security camera there. Just going to uh, zap it and hack it. Going to zap this and then hack. And there's a Houdini splicer here. Where is he? Now, there's one more Houdini splicer after this guy. I was quite lucky here. Normally, on my previous practice, I've always maxed it out on the last one. But here, I do it on this one. So, I think I've just been lucky. And I've been taking good pictures. Uh, so, just going to take pictures of him. Five if you can. And then kill him. And then loot his chlorophyll solution. And now, we're about done this level now. We're just sort of making our way out now. Um, but now we've done that, the gate to leave and to enter the yeah, farmer's market is open so yeah it's making our way out now um, obviously killing any enemies I've come across along the way and looting their corpses there we go back up to Arcadia Glens and take a left into the tree farm now once you come in here there's storage container we're going to loot and an audio file Arcadia and Oxygen there we go we're in the tree farm Arcadia and Oxygen uh, go loot this corpse, kill this enemy and his little bot. Die punk. Loot that corpse, and you got a pack punch machine here. Power to the people machine. So he's going to upgrade the shotgun because I only need one more upgrade for it because we upgraded it on the last one, and we'll get a trophy for upgrading the shotgun. And there's a trophy for upgrading every weapon, guys. So we'll, we'll need to upgrade everything along the way. A container there. Loot the corpse, the vending machine. Now there's one more Houdini and he's just going to be in this next sort of room. Last Houdini, so get ready to take pictures if you haven't already. If you haven't maxed the research yet. Yeah, so just I just hacked that one with the um, automatic hacking tool. So that's uh, Houdini, but I killed him and I'm looting the chlorophyll solution. Obviously, if you haven't maxed your research, like I just said, take some pictures. Uh, some a pep bar. They're pretty nice and pep bars. And this is the last audio file. Maternal Instinct, the very last one. Maternal Instinct. And you should have, if you have every one, guys, you should have 16 audio files. 16. If you've missed any, if you don't have 16, look in the little description below this video. And you can just look for which you haven't got. Click on the timestamp and you'll find out where it is. So yeah, you should have 16 before we leave this area. We do actually need to come back in here later via the story. So you could just get it later, but you want to get it now really, just to make sure you're... We're on track. If you haven't got a little sister, um, the second one in here, just run uh, run around her to find a Rosie and follow him to the where they spawn a little sister, get a second one. And yeah, that's it guys for Arcadia. The next part will be a farmer's market. This is level six, I think it is. I think it's level six after Arcadia. Make sure you've got your difficulty set to easy, as always, and dis disable Vita Chambers is still set to on in your options before you begin. Now, enzyme samples, gonna be a lot of collectibles here. You've got enzyme samples there. We need to get quite a lot of them, and there's your first audio file, B enzyme. B enzyme, first audio file, just near the start. Yeah, that's similar to the um, chlorophyll in the last level. There's gonna be a, a lot of things similar to that we collect here that you need to craft something and you also need it for later as well so I'm going to get through this pretty quick, it's a bit like a maze to begin with but it's going to be a few Houdinis you can loot, get some more chlorophyll solution off them and then I come around here zap that camera, hack it I get the hacking trophy here I believe, for hacking 50 for 50 um, um, machines, finally, finally get that trophy here so it's a corpse here and there's a lock box just tucked under there. Some loot inside. Got another audio file here. Pulling together. So that's where it is. So pulling together audio file. They're gonna. I'm gonna hack this. A little bit expensive, but I'm gonna hack it anyways. Let's. 
You can only hold 500 cash and it's going to get to a point soon where I can't hold no more. So I'm just trying to use up some of my cash. I'm going to buy out this safe as well. And around here you got another lockbox and the register, but I've already looted that. Now up here, there's a little secret hatch. A little secret hatch, you might find a newt hiding inside here. So you've got an automatic hack tool there, you've got two of them, and some proximity mines if you need them. When I come in here, first I'll get his Houdini splicer before he gets a chance to teleport away. And then you got a Rosie here to take pictures off. A Rosie, and then we'll kill him, and then uh, her or him. And then we'll take pictures of the little sister and uh, rescue her. I think there's only one little sister on this level, if I'm honest. But we do come across quite a lot of Rosies. So you get quite a lot of pictures of Rosies on this one. There we go. Rescue her. Make sure you rescue her so you get that Adam. Do not harvest her. Right, going to loot his body for all that money he has. Loot the um, rivet gun. Then before we progress, we're just going to loot a bit more. So another camera here, I'm just going to zap it and hack it. Thing about the cameras, the cameras are always cheap to hack. They're always cheap to hack, but um, anything else always sort of gets more expensive, depending on how far in the game you are. The safes, by the way, you don't need to hack them like I am. You can just leave them. You've got more film here if you want to buy more film. Yeah, you don't have to. You can leave the safe if you don't want to. Any, if there's any of any anything of importance, I will mention it to you. So there's another audio file here. Desperate times in this little hatch. There you go. Desperate times audio file. You got three crates here you can loot. And they're going to head out here and uh, jump down. And I'm going to hack this door. Auto hack, you can either auto hack, buy it out, or put the lock in, put the lock in, or um, just hack it manually. I don't know the code for this, so um, that's why I've just done it that way. Not bothered to look around for that one. So you're going to kill this dude, uh, grab a bit of loot in there, storage crate, and on this table on the left there it is, you can see the distilled water. It's glowing yellow. Yeah, you need quite a lot of them, and there you can see it's a key item, so it's glowing yellow. So make sure you grab all the distilled waters here. I'm going to come out here, a bit more loot on the counter. You've got a register there to loot. You've got another audio file here, guys. First encounter audio file. That's sort of in the market area in this little room. And then we're going to loot that big daddy. Corpse, you've got a few storage crates we can loot. A corpse and the water here. And a second audio file in this room called Hatred on this bench. Yes, there we go, that's where it is. I was kind enough to show you. Yes, normally a Houdini that spawns there, but he didn't spawn on this occasion for whatever reason. Obviously, too scared of me. His friends have told him about me, obviously. A storage crate here, under the stairs. Yeah, them little trip wires, they do a little bit of damage, but nothing to worry about on the EC. So there's a Houdini spy, uh, splicer. I was just, I was gonna kill him, but um, can't be asked when after him, so I've no idea where he is. Like I so said, he normally spawns in that room, but he didn't on this occasion. So loot the corpse there. And here you got a tonic, guys. First tonic on this level, Eve Link 2. That's where it is. There you go, make sure you grab that tonic guys. And um, back up here near the start. And when you come up here, there'll be another big daddy. You pen on, so you can get more pictures. No little sister, there's only one on this level. But I'm gonna always take pictures and then kill him, so drop loads of cash. Now these big daddies, as you know, I've mentioned in the previous part, they're sort of on a timer. Um, so it depends how long it's been since you killed your last one and how far away you've moved into next areas. You know, to sort of spawn new enemies, new areas. Um, so up here now, we're just gonna progress now. Distilled water, Eve there under the hat, and water in wine, audio file there. Water in wine, audio file. And we're just heading to the goal now, to the beehive center. There you go, idiot, attacking the beehive. So um, we're at this gatherer's garden. And I'm going to buy combat tonic slots. And I'm going to buy another combat tonic slot. So now we've got that trophy, guys, of 
max one track. That's what unlocking every slot in something. In something basically. We do need to get every every slot anyway. But that's just for getting any first sort of um, attribute. Um, audio file there guys. I'll show you what it was because I was a little bit quick there picking it up. That's where it is on the map. And I'll just show you what audio file that was. Um, so that was Adam explained. And your order files, by the way, they're always displayed in the order you collect them in. It's not like a fixed order, they're just showing in what order you collect them in. Now here, quickly turn on the smoke control and loot all these beehives quickly. Yeah, quickly loot all the beehives. Because they're enzyme samples which we need inside them. The smoke will disappear eventually. You want to hack this save. This one, you want to hack it. There we go, skilled hacker trophy, finally. Because in this save, there's three enzyme samples and we need them. So that save you need to hack. More beehives here. Yeah, you will get sort of ambushed while you're in here, but honestly, you don't need to worry too much about it. But you just want to be quick before that smoke wears off, and if you do get a bit worried about the smoke, and you get annoyed with the bees sort of clouding your vision, you can go you can go back and activate it if you want. I was going to quickly do it now, and uh, then leave the area. You should end up, after doing this, you should end up with about, I think it's 12 enzyme samples. There we go, got about most loot in here, most of the enzyme samples. Yes, there we go, and uh, back out. By the way, if the smoke's currently active, that door will not open, you've got to wait for the smoke to dissipate. And into the winery now. And... Yeah, I don't need to hack anything now because um, I've got the trophy for hacking 50 items, 50 machines. But I'm obviously still going to do the cameras and the turrets, so they're not hostile. And um, we've got another audio file over here. This is the functional children audio file. There we go, in the winery. Got a storage crate here just behind it. Another storage crate. Another storage crate. And uh, there's distilled water here on the floor. But I just loot this corpse first. There it is, another distilled water. Now we're gonna head downstairs now into the cellar. Now so distilled water just on that beam. Do you see I just jump for it? You can either use telekinesis or jump for it like I did. Over here, just gonna loot these corpses. Come through here where that enemy just um, ambushed me from through the barrels and there's a few items around here. There's a corpse to loot. Bloody corpse. And at the opposite end we've got another distilled water. And this should be enough distilled water. But we're gonna keep going and collect everything here. Because we do need some extras to craft some tonics later. We've got enough for the story. Now that's how many I have. I have nine water, twelve enzyme samples, guys, and twelve chlorophyll solution. You may be slightly different, but as long as you're sort of near them, near them uh, numbers, you should be okay. We will be getting more. Another distilled water, storage crate, and here it's the upgrade machine. Power to the people. So we do need to upgrade everything eventually, so it's just com it's completely up to you what you want to upgrade. That's where it is. Power to the people machine. I'm going to go for chemical thrower consumption rate. Chemical thrower, by the way, uh, another distilled water there, guys, and a storage crate. Yeah, the chemical thrower is good. That's probably the only thing that you can really use on the bees. To um, destroy the hives and the grenades, I think. Normal um, firearms don't only work. A uh, distilled water here. And in, in the back here, another corpse. Yeah, the thing is, the chemical throw, it consumes ammo really quickly. But it's probably a lot better that upgrade. And here, a bit of loot, and we've got the last tonic of this level that you collect. A loot. Yes, yeah, so you've got a photographer's eye. And. You should be able to assign all of them now to slot. That's why we got all the slots of combat tonic first. Because that's probably got the most useful tonics we're going to be using. Just speed it up a little bit, speed the game up. So I just took out them perps. I'm going to come around the other side of the um, cellar here. Loot that corpse. There's a little hatch there. Um, I didn't look inside. Over here, you got three lock boxes just underneath this bench. You got a storage crate and you got another distilled water. Another crate. Two more crates here and two distilled waters. A corpse here and a lockbox. And last distilled water. 
and a crate and that's about it guys yes that's all we're getting in this level we're about to leave and go to the next one yeah it's this level is it's a little bit like a maze so it's just one more corpse there it's a little bit like a maze but um, you can get through it really quickly if you, you sort of know your way around and know you sort of know where everything is so that's well, we have 18 water, 12 enzymes, and 12 chlorophyll solution. Now we're going to hack that. We're going to hack it now. Um, we do need to build that Lazarus vector for a story. But if you hack it, it'll cost less. So we're going to hack the U invent. And we're going to hack it. There we go. We've got a trophy as well. Basic inventor. Don't hack anything else. Remember, we're going to wait until near the end of the game. Because there is a trophy for crafting 100 items. And... This Rosie may be here, he may not. It depends how quick or how slow you've been. If he's not here, don't worry, just move on. I'll show you where a few more can spawn. It's going to loot him. Got some dollars and some screws. Let's look for a terrific gun there to loot. So when you come through here, a Houdini Spicer spawns behind you and then spawns in there to get ready to kill him. Looted him, didn't look like he had anything. But normally when you come back through here, there normally be a Rosi. Either back down below. Yeah, sometimes a Rosi here. There, like I say, it depends how long you've been. It depends how long you've taken. Or, it's going to make sure we've got plenty of film there before we head into the next area. Yeah, there might be one there, or there may have been one that spawned in here. Now they've not spawned here for me, I guess I've been a little bit too quick. Yeah, or they may spawn here, it just depends how long you've taken, like I say. And yeah, that is it. So I'm going to head back to Arcadia, do that bit of Arcadia. Then we're going to head into Fort Frolic, which is quite, it's probably one of the biggest areas in the game, Fort Frolic, actually. Yeah, Fort Frolic, because there's a lot of objectives, you have to keep going back on yourself, Fort Frolic. So lay all the collectibles we should have. You should have eight. Yeah, some of them from Arcadia. And you've got that one, Andrew Ryan First Encounter. That's in a different tab. I don't know why, but that's in a different tab. So it's eight audio files on this one, guys. You should have seven in the Arcadia slash Pharma Markets tab. And one shows you up in the Neptune's Bounty tab for some reason. Yeah, but that's it, guys. Yeah, Farmer's Market. We're in Arcadia. And I guess this is kind of a quick one. Kind of a quick one. There's nothing much to do here because you've already done it. Um, there's one audio file. But anything you've looted, it will still be looted nothing is sort of restocked but just may basically quickly making our way to Langford's lab so but we will we will find a few roses along the way so we can get some more pictures we've got all the little sisters here remember so you normally come come across this first one here we're gonna get some pictures of him and yeah I'm very 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 close to Max in these and once I've got my photos I'm just gonna kill him so go loot his corpse and uh, if you come out here you should find another one as well on your way around yeah like I say we're making our way to Langford but I'm taking this way because you find you should find sometimes I find another Rosie not always but before by just on that corridor near the gatherer's garden just past it I found a second Rosie obviously it's not happened here but as you make your way around, just take that slightly longer way, just in, in the chance that you may find another row seat along the way. I think I do actually max it out here, actually. The, um, the row seat, so that we get a trophy for it as well. And all that leaves to uh, max is the little sister and the bouncer. But you, get, you get a lot of bouncers on the next level, by the way, guys. Fort Frolic. So we're just going to head into Langford's lab. And we're going to lob in the, the formula now in order to um, try and purify the area there we go, lob it in there, deploy the Lazarus Vector right, while it's working it's magic we've got like a little defence section now where we have to defend defend the lab while the um, purification process is going along you'll come across two ro well, two or three roses during this, I guess it depends how long you take but I always come straight in here, activate that panel, and your enemies, yes, see so there's the first Roshi that's appeared. If he's not appeared, if you don't worry, just keep running around the area, killing the enemies, and you should find him 
He should spawn soon enough. There you go, always loot cubs. Always these enemies we're gonna be killing here, always loot them and the Houdini splices get very, very annoying here. Yeah, I'm just trying to use some money here because we're gonna be coming across quite a lot of money. So um I just thought why not hack this? And buy some first aid kits. Because you might need them in a second. Yeah, see all these doors are locked before, but the enemies have cut them down now to ambush you and they're just born in from thin air inside them little rooms. Basically, there's, there's sort of three waves of enemies here. Uh, once you've killed each wave, the next one will appear. And the reason we put that panel down is because the enemies will cut the panel down, they'll get their world out, and um, I see it'll cut it down. And the enemy should burst through there, but I don't know why they didn't. Maybe because I ran through it as it fell down. But um, I'm going to run around here and then run back. Oh, there's a Houdini splicer. Yeah, normally when they cut that door down, you can see the enemies right behind it, but I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why they were not there. So, yeah, just keep killing the enemies, guys. And the Houdini splicer is very, very annoying on this section because they teleport away so fast. Teleport away so fast. But, yeah, kill them, loot them. There's a lot of lead head splicers if you need to get any more pictures. Obviously, you need any more pictures of Houdinis. There we go, that's wave one. Circulation wave one, one of three. Yeah, you see how annoying these Houdinis are. Ah, got him. Because they just spawn in, they lob some at you, then they spawn away. They don't hang around, these guys. I guess they're learning. Oh, it's more lead heads. Yeah, so a few, a rosy will spawn again later. Yeah, it's looting them all. Lots of, lots of loot you're gonna get from these corpses. Now I'm gonna destroy my wrench. There we go, that's wave two. Yeah, once you killed all the enemies, the next wave will begin. So just keep trying to kill the enemy as soon as you can. I'm sure you can imagine this will be quite difficult on the hardest difficulty setting. You'd really have to uh, make strategic use of all the um, you know, battles around you and uh, telekinesis and um, things like that. I guess that water's good down there because of the shock enemies inside it. Right, should be many more. Yes, yeah, so it's all this uh, lead heads. Leave my toys alone. Oh, Houdini, great. Oh, that's quite got him pretty quick. Thuggish splicer. We've done the lead heads. We've done the. I've done the uh, thugs, I believe. Yeah, a few lock. You'll find a few lock boxes will spawn. Yeah, so you, that's it, third wave. It seems like you don't have to destroy, you don't have to kill the Houdinis. As you can see, the wave still updates. Um, well, I took them out anyway. These Houdinis don't drop any chlorophyll solutions. So, another Rosie should spawn in a minute. But, I think when it comes to Rosies, you have to wait for the corpse of the previous one to despawn before another one to spawn in. I mean, I've not thoroughly tested that. But, it, I don't know, it seems to be that way. Kind of. So we're going to just come back through here. There's a lot of box there, and we're going to pull that lever now to deploy the mist. That's it. We've purified the area, and we can move on now to Fort Frolic, the longest. Well, I think it's one of the longest areas in the game. Yeah, get a trophy here. Restored the forest, and perhaps a rose is born now. I'm just checking before I make a way out. Oh, there he is. He spawned in. So I actually get a trophy here, guys, I think, for, um, yes, there we go. Fully researched the Rosie. So I don't have to worry about them no more. Still got to do the balances. Remember, the balances are the big daddies with a drill arm. The Rosies are the one with a, a gun. Yeah, that's how you tell them apart. And of course, got a little sister. You'll get a lot of balances on the next level, by the way, like loads of them. So he's got to um, leave now. 
Yeah, so a few lock boxes have spawned. You see, these are just all spawned. It's just like new loot. And we can access the buffer spear now. So if you need to revisit any areas for whatever reason, you can do so. We'll get some spider slices on the next level as well. So you need to max the spider slicer you can. And the last audio file in this level, there it is. The Great Chain. The Great Chain. That's the last audio file in Arcadia. The Great Chain. And that's where it was. So um, you should have all the audio files now, guys. You should have... I can't quite recall this exact number, but um, I did show you how many you should have in Arcadia on the first part of Arcadia, and in this part you only needed one part. So we're going into straight into Fort Frolic, guys. That's the end of that video, and I've seen Fort Frolic, which is going to be probably quite a long one, a lot longer than this anyway. Uh, when you begin, just make sure you save your game first because there's a random trophy. We're going to get out of the way now, one with the slot machines. Yeah, this is a random trophy, a uh, MISC one, so just make sure you save your game first just so it can reload afterwards. Basically, just on your left as you begin, there's these slot machines, and you just need to keep gambling until you get the jackpot. And there you go, once you get a jackpot, you'll get the trophy, lucky winner. Lucky winner. And with the jackpot, it may take you a long time to do this. It, it's sort of random. Every time I've done it, it's taken me only a few minutes. So I've been quite lucky, but it may take you a bit longer. And then once you've got that trophy, just reload that safe back, just so you get all your money back. You do get a 250 from the jackpot, so if you end up with more than what you started with, obviously you may want to just keep on going. Obviously, and once you begin, make sure your difficulty is still on easy. And disable Vita Chambers is still on. And with this level, what, what we're going to do now, because the last few levels, one, once the um, crafting materials became available to loot, we should have enough now to um, do what we need to do for the trophies, trophy wise. Um, I'm still going to loot a few things here, just get some more enzyme, some of the enzyme samples, just because we're going to need a few more than what I have. But after this level, other than the few things I loot here specifically, I will not be really doing any more looting, except for enemies that we kill. Uh, so you begin, you come down there, and uh, the bath spear will disappear, and just wait a moment till Sander Cohen starts talking. And once he's finished, this door here will open, and you'll be ambushed by about six spider slices. Now, a load of tripwires appear, that's why I've got this little trash bin in front of me. And I'm just going to pick it up and use it to set off all the tripwires. These can do quite a lot of damage, even on easy, so um, do watch your health, just to be safe. And uh, that's where the first two spawn from. If you still need to get pictures off spider slices, get them now and I'm just gonna loot a few things while I'm waiting for spiders to spawn because the other four will spawn from here these um, vents up a bit up above I sit in two more last two will spawn yeah this level it can be quite long it's quite a long level actually it's probably going forward there's probably not going to be any more levels longer than this one going forward um, it's, it's mainly a looting because we're not really going to be looting anymore. That's what's going to keep all these other levels really, really short. So eventually this door will open. You kill the six splicers. Sando will talk again. And uh, there's an automatic hack tool up there. You don't need it, but um, I just sucked it down for my telekinesis while I'm waiting. Yeah, basically you have to complete his masterpiece here. And there's a action here which if you perform it you can mess, mess up a lot of trophies I'll mention it to you a bit later so this is your first audio file stood up stood up again and that's just here at the top of the upper atrium at the top of the steps first audio file stood up again and we're going to come through here and get ready to zap that security camera press that switch call the elevator down and then while the elevator is making it way down to us we're going to destroy the camera and I'm just going to loot the immediate area quickly. You can go upstairs here and get um, a audio file up there. But there's a locked room up there which opens near the end of the level. And so we'll just go and get the audio file then when we go to the locked room and get some more collectibles. Yeah, so basically what you have to do is you have to make your way around the level taking picture of four specific enemies after you've killed them. And then you have to sort of complete, you have to put all the pictures on a masterpiece in the front of the theatre 
and then Sander Cohen will appear. And once he appears, if you kill him, um, you miss the trophy, so you need to keep him alive, so do not attack him. And uh, here, actually in the theatre, you need to shoot the piano or this dude playing piano. Yeah, he's a pretty bad player anyway, so you don't want to listen. And he'll explode and then take a picture of his body, and that'll be the first one. And then we're going to make a way up here, and you'll find a tonic alarm expert in the Fleet Hall Theatre. There you go, take that tonic, just jump up to that ledge and then jump over to it, and then drop down off the side there. And basically coming back out now, back to the sort of atrium, the staircase. Yeah, see, see them four pictures there? Them four frames? That's where you need to put the pictures down uh, when you've taken them. The first one you have to put down, but the other three you can put them down all at the same time, but um, you see what I'm going to do when we get there. But we've just come back up these steps, and uh, because there's a second audio file, the doubters in here in this sort of um, art room sort of thing. Yeah, the doubters, second audio file. And now, now the dialogue is finished. Dialogue is finished. You come down here, and the Sander will start talking again about his masterpiece. And once you get the action, the prompt, you can place the picture on that first frame, and you'll get the last weapon, the crossbow. Yes, you have all the weapons by then. And when it comes to upgrading, by the way, you can. You don't have to have. Egg, you don't have to have every weapon upgraded at once um, because on my other count yeah there is a crossbow the golden crossbow pick it up actually last weapon and uh, we're just going to come in the back here now smash that camera basically once you've um, placed that first picture there's an audio file here by the way come to the record store yeah once you place that first picture you'll open the um, door in order to head into the next area which we'll be going to soon. This corpse here has four distilled water. That's why I come and loot it. Four distilled water. Yeah, some some uh, loot, some corpses and containers have fixed loot, but most of it is random. Just kill them first few enemies. And in this back room, we've got another audio file. I think this is um, the Wild Bunny. Yeah, here we go. Just in this back room in a shop. The Wild Bunny. Yeah, when it comes to upgrading weapons, you can actually, up once you've upgraded a weapon once, it saves you for profile, by the way. Uh, another audio file here, Artists Feud. Artists Feud. And uh, once you've got that, smash that security camera. There we go, just so it doesn't alert reinforcements. And um, around the back here, there's a trash bin. It's got one distilled water in, so I like to loot that one. And then we're going to come into here and... Uh, into the tobacco shop and you got power to the people, an upgrade machine so I'm going to go for chemical throw range because that's just what I was upgrading last there we go, two fully upgraded weapons and that's where it is, Le Marquis de Ipuc. turn around and on the floor by his corpse another audio file fancy cigarettes there we go, yeah just next to the um, audio machine in between the dude's legs now come out here, turn left and destroy a sentry gun uh, there's going to be a few enemies on your way out here. And you're going to find a Nitro Spicer here that spawns at the bar. He finally turned up for his job. There we go. I did actually max him before, so I'm doing it now. There we go. Fully researched Nitro Splicer. There we go. You will come across a lot of Nitro Spicers later on, by the way. So if you still need more to get a trophy, don't worry. There will be more later. Right, now we can head into the Poseidon. I think it's Poseidon. Yes, there we go, into the ice area. Now, you can defrost that, defrost that, defrost the trash bin. That corpse has three distilled water, so I like to loot it. And got an order fire there, just stuck on the left in the ice. The ice man cometh. There you go, just make sure you loot it. So I don't know why when I look at my map it's like, there I am, that's where I am. It's loving me right on the top left for some reason. Normally when you open the map it zooms in onto where you are. But not in this instance. So here there's going to be one of them enemies we have to kill, like a, a key enemy. Which after you kill him you have to take pictures. For your personal album. 
There we go. This always happens. He freezes you. There we go. Don't worry. You do defrost. Yeah, this little chicken. And uh, yeah, he's not. He don't. It's not hard to kill. Not an easy, especially not an easy. There we go. We're free. No longer are we rock hard. So this trash bin here. I like to do this trash bin because it has a. Well, it has two enzyme samples inside. Yeah, so loot that trash bin. That's always got an enzyme sample inside. Underneath that ice that I mounted earlier, you got a automatic hacking tool and a crossbow ammo. So this dude here, Martin Finnegan, kill him and then loot the frozen field tonic from his corpse there you go loot it from his corpse and then take a picture of him there you go so he can show off his defeat right and after I've took a picture of him you can go and get the rest but I like to come back straight away because it spawns if you do it this way it spawns a big daddy so back to the bottom of the atrium to where the stage was there we go big daddy there and once you get a chance, you yeah, place that picture, Finnegan's photo. And you've got your first big daddy here. This is a bouncer, actually, a bouncer. Yeah, you should get a trophy here for taking picture of every single enemy type and big daddy type and little sister. Yeah, so a bouncer, they're the big daddies with the drill arms. And this is, it's only this level and the medical, medical pavilion where you actually encounter these. So, um,. Obviously, I'm going to make sure I get all. I'm going to match all my pictures with him, then kill him, and then rescue the little sister. Do not harvest, rescue. Yeah, at the end of this level, we actually get the trophy for researching every particular enemy to max. And I actually have to farm the bouncers a little bit in order to get it, because, like I say, after this level, we don't encounter no more bouncers except for one at the very end. So if you do not have it by now, you want to really just do it here, just to get the research out of the way, and it also give you more damage, what you do to them anyway. So we've placed that first pic uh, second picture, sorry, and we've got that bouncer, and we're just coming in here now. Now it is very easy to get lost here, sort of like a bigger uh, shopping complex. So coming in here and you've got an audio file there. I was a bit quick picking it up, so I'm just gonna show you what it was. So that's Ryan's stable boy. And that's where we were. And afterwards, drop down here. And you can't get back up, you have to wait for a little scene just above you. There you go, the next sort of key enemy's gonna appear. And he's gonna blow up the vent. There you go, that dude. There you go, he's going to lob a Molotov in the vent, and then we should be able to come through here. You may have to wait a second before we can come in. And there we go. And then out here, and you'll get ambushed now by a few spider slides as well. It's about five, they normally drop down, they're always normally on fire, so eventually they do die, just from the flames. But once you see a dialogue at the bottom, sprint to the front door. Yeah, once you see a dialogue, that indicates all the spider slices are dead. And the front door will open. So once you see the dialogue, there we go. Cobb will start talking. Come out here and start mailing him really quickly. There we go. You can loot his body and then take a picture of Silas Cobb. There we go. That's the third picture we need. So one more picture. And we're going to do these two at the same time. And there's the big daddy there. Now what you want to do on this on this level, since you spot a big daddy, you really want to wait for them until they go to little sister, if they haven't spawned one yet. So I'm just going to come up here. There we go, and uh, take my pictures. Wrench Jockey 2, that's for getting him to um, level 2 I think. There we go, little sister as well. Okay, Tom, get rid of the bouncer, and then rescue the little sister. Bubbles, she's dead. Don't worry, another one will spawn. There you go, purify her. That's it, and then once you've got the Adam, we'll move on. Thank you. Just seeing if I can get another picture there. There we go. 
perfect cameraman. Right, so what I do next, there's not really any specific order you need to do this in. This is the order I like to do it. I come into here and you want to smash that camera. A little secret in here, by the way, behind the counter, that's like a safe room switch. There it is. So behind the counter in Sinclair Spirits, hit that switch. And that chest, by the way, has alcohol and distilled water. And down in the basement, you've got the second upgrade weapon machine here. And uh, yeah, so just pick any, doesn't really matter. I always use my wrench anyway. And after you've used it, turn around and kill that enemy. If I don't kill that enemy, this next area doesn't seem to open up. So kill that enemy that appears behind you. Come in here, and there's another secret basement area just down here. Like I say, if you don't kill that enemy near that upgrade machine, this doesn't seem to open up. Right, and there's a tonic right in the far right corner. There is a nice little blue one. Extra nutrition, number two. So that's a tonic, guys, at the back of this room. Right, it's going to loot this. Turn around and make your way out. Now, you can kill these spider slices on your way out. There should be three that spawn afterwards. Just making sure that I've got my uh, max research with them. Right, so once you've got them, we're going to head back out here. And this is next room I go in. The, the way I'm doing this, I find it's... The way I do this, it spawns the um, big daddies in a good way for me. But, well, it did before my practice runs. I don't think it really happens right now. But um, I'm just going to come behind here, kill these few enemies. And there's an audio file here, Fontaine's Army. There you go, and to get into the bottom of this room, you have to come in from that top door because this bottom door is, you have to unlock it from the inside. There you go, that audio file, Fontaine's army. Yeah, she's glitched up there. That happens sometimes, they just stand there waiting, hoping the big daddy's going to respawn or magically resurrect. Now, get ready to destroy that camera there. It doesn't matter if you spawn the bots, but they just get a bit annoying, so I just try and destroy the cameras. Up here, we've got an audio file on top of the snooker table. There we go. Bump, cool pepper. Yeah, bump, cool pepper. And as you've noticed, I'm only looting the enemies that I kill, and I'm only looting the a few certain containers, which I have mentioned to you, because they've normally got enzyme samples inside, distilled water. And normally when I drop down here before on my practice runs, there's always a big daddy here, but not in this instance, so um, we're just going to ignore it and uh, move on. Get rid of the spider first. There we go. And we're just going to come in this room, and there's an audio file there, guns blazing. Guns blazing audio file. Yeah, I think with big daddies, I think they're on like a timer as well, if you're too quick... And um, they don't spawn in time where they did before, just because you'll be in a bit quicker. Uh, we come into here in this sort of um, night lounge sort of place. And I just head into that back corridor, and a little scene will start. And then I've come over here back out, and you can buy film from here. Yeah, because a little bit of dialogue plays out, and you have to wait for the dialogue to finish before the door opens. That's why I went inside, came back out, got my film, and then back in here. See, it's still not open. Once the dialogue is finished, this will open, there we go. And you'll come in here, get a flashback, and you'll get that audio file, Pregnancy. Would you kindly pick that audio file up? Corpse A can loot it for fine gin if you want to. Come back out here, and the fourth and last key enemy here, just quickly melee him to death. There we go, Hector, Hector Rodriguez. So you can loot his body, and uh, then take your final picture. So that's all the photos we've got. And where he sat at the bar, he's left an audio file for you. It's all grift. So pick that up, it's on the bar. And I'm coming here now, I'm going to head upstairs. Remember, if you do miss anything, guys, check the description. I've got all timestamps there. And you can check, make sure you've not missed anything. And at the end of this video, I will show you what audio files you should have anyway, just before we finish the video. So two drone guns there, I just destroyed them. And what I was doing there, I basically I ran up quickly to see if there's a big daddy spawned. It hadn't. So I'm just coming back down now because we've basically done this area now. And yeah, there's that other big daddy. She's still stuck there. Oh, there we go. We've got a big daddy. So I'm just going to get some more pictures. See, it's funny. He wasn't there before when I jumped up. And then I came underneath and it spawned. Like I say, sometimes it just depends how quick you are. 
and if you get far enough away from an area, they will spawn in. So I'm just going to follow him to the next point where he's going to spawn a little sister. But it looks like he's got confused. <laughs> he's got confused here because he thinks that little sister is um, obviously messing with his um, optics. So uh, I'm just going to have to kill this one and uh, we'll sort it out later. I'll have to spawn another. Yeah, silly little sister. It's messed him up. Now what I did here, I actually saved and reloaded to see if it fixed that little glitch, but it didn't do anything, so um, I just left it. So I'm just making making our way back out here now, and uh, we're going to put the last two pictures on the picture frames. Don't worry about the third little sister. There is three little sisters on this map. We'll get the other one a little bit later in the level. So just going to come down here now, we're going to place all the pictures. There you go. You cannot place a fourth one until... Because once you place the third one, they'll be like uh, you get ambushed by a load of enemies. And them lock boxes, by the way. When you've killed an enemy, their when their body eventually despawns, despawns. Sometimes they leave them little them lock boxes. Yes, yeah, so them lock boxes are normally where there was an enemy that you killed earlier. Um, they don't always appear though, and they seem to appear more the further into the game you get. The more they seem to appear. Um, so I don't think I remembered him appearing early, earlier on. So yeah, he's got a load of enemies he got to fight now. So basically like a combination, you, you'll have thugs, uh, thugs leadheads and spiders, sli uh, slicers. So um, if you're still missing research on some of them, that one's obviously dancing to the music. Yeah, if, she's, if you still need some research, you can get it now. Probably about 20 enemies or so you have to kill here. They're all entranced. You know when you've got them all because they'll be like an objective complete. There we go. Goal complete. Defeat Cohen Splices. Now, place the last picture. Pick up the gift first that appears. It's only, it's only a little shitty gift. There we go. After Christmas. That's it. Place the last picture of um, Hector Rodriguez. Once you get a chance, there we go. Finish this masterpiece and you'll get a trophy for that as well. Completed Cohen's masterpiece. Now there's Sander Cohen, do not kill him. If you kill him on a later level, he will not spawn and you will not be able to access his apartment and get a trophy. So I'm just coming over to Gather's Garden now to get a gift from Little Sisters and I'm getting a Hypnotized Big Daddy number two there. Hypnotized Big Daddy number two. And yeah, I'm just buying a few more slots now as well. So I bought a new physical tonic slot and I bought a new um, engineering tonic slot. Right now, Sander Cohen has spawned his secret room in the um, in this uh, theatre upstairs. It will be open now. So I'm just going to quickly come in here. You, you need to wait about two minutes anyway for him to walk down to the um, uh, display, admire it. Musical insult audio log there guys, M musical insult audio log, there you go, and this room's normally locked by the way, but once Sander spawns it opens, and there's another audio file, Requerium for Andrew Ryan, yeah pick that up, and then you got a tonic, electric flesh up here on the shelf, electric flesh, there we go, that's all the audio files by the way, that's all the audio files on this level. Uh, but it's one more tonic, which um, Sander Cohen is going to show us, is going to um, reveal for us. Just come back down here to the atrium, and there we go. He's opened it now, the little chamber, so we get medical expert number two. There we go, and lower atrium, and that's the last collectible on this level, guys. And that other one next to him on the left, that's what you get if you kill him, by the way. But like I say, we do not want to kill him. Do not kill Sander Cohen, whatever you do. We need to leave him alive for a later level. It's very, very important. And then we're just coming back in here now, and um, I'm just gonna show you how to sort of farm the bouncers. Now, like I say, the bouncers only spawn on this level and the medical pavilion, and there's one at the end of the game, only one. Um, but he's downstairs, I did actually miss him. When I came around the corner, you could just see him, but I missed him. But here he is, 
Um, so I need to wait for him to spawn a little sister, but I'm gonna get some more pictures as well. So that's level three I just hit with him. I just got damage plus two, level three. And when it comes to spawning big daddies, by the way, I think it's like a, it's like one to two minute timer before another one can spawn, I think. When you first enter a level, you come across quite a lot very quick, but that's normally because there's so, depending on how you go through a level, there's, there'll be like scripted appearances where they appear, they always appear there in that order. But when it comes to spawning them manually, you need to normally wait about two minutes between each spawn. I'm just checking how much I've got there, enzyme samples. Yeah, I'm just checking how much it is between um, each spawn. And here I'm just checking how much I have for later. I'm remembering now, on the next level we actually do a bit more. We actually loot a few containers as well. A few specific ones where you always get um, enzyme samples. Yeah, so he's going to spawn little sister here, and uh, I take pictures if I haven't. Ma I don't think I've maxed little sister, but there's only three on this level. This will be the last one, and uh, like I say, after this we're going to farm a few big daddies. Yeah, if the big daddies want to do this farming, if the big daddies stop spawning, because I think there may be only fixed amount that can spawn in as well. Yeah, if they stop spawning, just carry on to the end of the level, go through the bath bathosphere, bathosphere, and then come back. Yeah, go through the bathosphere sphere, and then come back. And then um, you should be able to see it all over again. Now you notice there, I haven't quite maxed out Little Sisters yet. I've not quite maxed out the research, but I do get the research trophy here. It's because what happened is I actually got a few levels into the game and then I forgot that I hadn't done this. I forgot about the bouncers only appearing here. A medical pavilion so what I do I come in here and then I wait for two minutes just wait for two minutes in here and then come back through here and another bouncer should have spawned and you can get a few more pictures and that's what I keep on doing now guys I have cut this a little bit just not to, just so I don't waste too much time and um, so once you took pictures back in here wait for a few minutes and then come back and you should find one in, in that sort of same place again sort of in this um, sort of shopping complex area take your pictures kill him and then go back and then just keep doing that guys yeah you want to wait about two minutes and then come back in and another one should have spawned like I said if no more are spawning it may be because you need to sort of complete the, the area sort of warp away and then walk back so just make your way to the end uh, warp away in the buffer spear, warp back, and then come back and do this. There we go. I'm back in here, waiting two minutes, waiting two minutes in here, then going back over there and um, taking more pictures. Yeah, I do pop the trophy here, but like I say, because I had to come, I, what I've done, I, I've come back and I've just edited it into this video because this is where you are. And this way you want to do it and it just be more optimal for you guys to do it this way rather than do what I had to do I had to where I am um, forgot what I forgot about this and I progressed a little bit and then I had to come all the way back here right so this should be the last one this is where the trophy will pop like I said I've still got to do little sister there we go maxed and you'll get that fully researched the bouncer and assuming you've researched every single enemy little sister and big daddy you'll get research phd trophy now i should i should get that when doing little sisters because watching this video that would be the last thing i am um, i research like i say because i had to edit this in the big daddy the bouncer was actually the last enemy i researched so once you've done that and you're happy it's going to make our way through here now and back to the buffer spear you remember that bath spear from the start which sort of dips under the water now you can actually access it and I'll show you the audio files in a minute what you should have audio file wise yes there you go you can now go into the bath sphere yeah so if, like I say if no more big daddies are spawning just warp away and then walk back so these are what you should have so go into Fort Frolic and I think is it 10 sorry not 10 15 I think Yeah, 15 audio files you should have, guys. So just take them off. If you're missing any, 
They're always in the audio you pick them up, by the way. If you miss any, look in the description, guys, and check the timestamps. Just before we begin, just make sure difficulty is still on easy and disable Vita Chambers is still set to on. Now, similar to the last part, there's a few things I loot just because most of the time they always have some enzyme samples inside. But other than them few things, I don't loot anything else except for bodies, um, enemies that I kill. Ba enemies that I kill, basically, I normally quickly loot them afterwards. Uh, so you just make your way through here, got these first few enemies. Houdini supplies this, you always want to try and loot them because they normally drop, they normally drop some of good. And but further going to the game, the rarer the materials you find, most enemies should drop anyway. So quickly through here, there's going to be an audio log. Yeah, I'm coming through this pretty quick now. Um, so this storage crate is in here. Ryan takes F futuristics. Yeah, it's in that square crate, guys. So just make sure you do that when you come past. Yeah, every level is going to be like this, just about. But in this one, we are, like I said, we are looting a few, a few containers. But after this, we'll not be looting anything. We'll just be going straight through looting corpses, enemies we kill. So here's another audio file. We'll Scope in the gate, just over here near this vending machine and the um, Vita chamber, which we do not know what the Vita chambers do because we've never used one. Now they're basically like an auto safe. If you die, you just respawn from them. So it's a, a security camera there. If you quick getting through there, it shouldn't get chance to um, notice you and set off the alarm. So long as you're quick, come over there, press that switch. Now you, you got to wait for the dialogue to finish now. So I'm just going to loot these bodies while we're waiting. And this corpse here hanging up, there's an audio file on him stopping Ryan. Yeah, so this body hanging up on the right side as you look towards that lever we pulled and it's the first body on the right side. So stopping Ryan audio file. And then the body at the end, the glowing yellow, that's got an enzyme sample and it's got the going to heat loss audio file. That's like story related, that's why it's glowing yellow. Yeah, so going to heat loss. So there's two audio files on the hanging bodies there. In this room, you've got a tonic frozen field number two. That's just on this desk. There we go. And um, just on the desk beside it, you've got another audio file, a man or a parasite. That's in this room here. And that's basically all there is. So you're basically waiting for that dialogue to finish. And then once the dialogue is finished, basically enemies will start cutting through this door that's been welded shut. So I'll be ready to um, destroy them. As soon as they appear, there you go. As soon as they knock that through, I'm just gonna shoot a frag grenade at them. Now, see, you got these two punks, and just gonna loot the bodies. Then you've got a corpse off a of big daddy here. There you go, and loot him. You can loot the big daddy corpse as well if you want to. And then just make your way through this corridor. Yeah, some enemies do try and. Uh, jump on you from behind as you come through here. There's quite a lot of um, story objectives here where you sort of have to get some of them, run back and get some else, then go somewhere else and collect some from there and then go back to the first place. There's a lot of places like that here. So you've got a, a Rosie here. Oh, sorry, a Bouncer. Yeah, that was a Bouncer. Yeah, so a Bouncer there and um, so I'm taking my pictures and then the little sister there. If you remember on the um, on the level beforehand, you should have got all the research done for the bouncers on that level. Um, so you shouldn't need to take any more there. Um, that's assuming you've done it. Yes, yeah, so you've got the elite bouncers on this one. And there's an audio file there that I just picked up, so make sure you grab that audio file just on the corner there. And then remember where you kill the bouncers on this level, remember where you kill them, because later on you need to loot their corpse. And there's a camera up here which is going to destroy. Yeah, and if their corpse, yeah, running short on R34, yeah, that's an audio file just below that camera. Yeah, with the uh, Big Daddy corpses, so if they do disappear, there should be like a lockbox in place where the body has disappeared and that lockbox will have whatever loot they had because later on you need to loot 
their corpses for and for basically an R34 component. So it's another balance layer I'm gonna picture. Like I say, we did, I have done this on the previous level. I'm just showing you someone here as well. And he's getting out a little sister. Go. Once you've done that, I'm just going to finish them off and then take pictures of the little sister. And I've maxed the little sister there, fully researched the little sister. Yeah, that should be little sister number two. I think there's, there's three little sisters on this level. If you go through this at a slightly different speed as, as me, they'll probably spawn in a different place, so just bear that in mind. In here we've got another audio file, device almost finished, in the lower workshop here. I'm going to get rid of these turrets. And there's a little hatch here, and just through this crawl space door is another audio file. There we go, market maintenance code. Yeah, market maintenance code on that one. And then we'll leave the hatch, leave back out. And we're going to basically head towards the end of this sort of um, lower workshop area. So you come around here and you'll find another audio file on this corpse, The Dream. He died living the dream. Chasing the dream, I should say. Didn't quite pan out, did it? Uh, so you've got another Big Daddy corpse there that's going to loot. And this hatch right in the corner at the end, in here. You've got the assembling the bomb audio file, you've got the damage research tonic, and you need to grab an audio file story related. So assembling the bomb, there we go, that's the damage research, assembling the bomb, grab that, and there'll be dialogue, right, and now we're gonna start making our way back out of the workshop. Once this dialogue is finished, basically like some new objectives will appear where you can you can loot the R34 components from uh, the big daddies and some other things. So remember where the big daddies are, like them two big daddies we've killed so far, remember where they are. Because we need to loot them later, once this dialogue is finished and the objectives become active. So just making our way back out here now, and then we're turning left, coming down these steps, and then sort of coming underneath the steps, turning back on ourselves, and making our right way right down to the bottom here. There'll be a spider slicer, and an audio file just on this desk, impossible anywhere else. That's just at the bottom of the core. Let's grab that and then make your way up. And you see this here, quarter can of ionic gel. Make sure you grab that. You'll only be able to grab it once that dialogue's finished. So quarter can of ionic gel. Just kill that enemy there and then we'll come in here. There's nothing story related down here by the way, heat loss monitoring. There's just a few collectibles we need to get. So make your way through here, yeah the, the lights will keep going out, yeah the lights will keep going out, just keep making your way down. And once you get to the end here, these three enemies will animate, so just rid them of their life and uh, loot them. And in this area, you should find the last big daddy. It might not necessarily be in this first part you come to, but sort of in this area. There you go, and there's little sister. So at this point, I've actually got all the research. I I got a little sister research not long ago. And um, I did actually do the bouncer in the last level, if you remember. Over here, we've got a second ionic gel that we need. So that'll be two off two, that story related. And just next to it is a file, Kaibu's door code. Make sure you grab that. Yeah, when it comes to the, the bouncer, I guess we, we could have come onto this level and then farm the bouncers on this level. Um, but. I just, I like to do it on the last one because I know exactly where the bouncer is going to spawn and stuff. 
And uh, once you get down here, yeah, just kill them two enemies before they sort of get a chance to start teleporting once a Houdini. And here's another audio file, Genetics Arm Race. That's in the lower heat loss monitoring in the part that's flooded. Yeah, that crate sometimes got enzyme sample, that's why I had a look inside it. We should be getting some enzyme samples from enemies. So you've got another um, audio log here, getting a break, and another tonic security evasion number two. Yeah, so getting a break and security, security evasion number two. This crate got two enzyme samples. I find that one's always got enzyme samples in. I could have just been lucky, but every time I've probably looted that about 10 times and it's always had enzyme samples inside. So that's all we need to do in this sort of um, lower heat monitoring area. Yeah, nothing. there's nothing story related in there. That ionic gel, ionic gel you can actually get one um, outside when you're making your way back up the core. Yeah, you don't have to come in, come in here just for that. There's just some main correct voice in there that we needed. Right, so once you're back out here, there's going to be a gift here, and we're going to get from this. Yeah, this is a gatherer's garden. We're going to get 200 Adam, of course. And then here we're going to buy the la the final slots that we need. So that's the final physical tonic slot and the final engineering slot. And you'll get a trophy there. Maxed all tracks. Max all tracks. Not going to buy anything else. And just behind the gaffer's garden is a audio file, Assassin. And you also got an upgrade station, just opposite it, power to the people. Obviously just upgrade whatever was the last thing you upgraded. So I've got three fully upgraded weapons now. So now we're basically making our way back to where the bomb was. There's another ionic gel just down on the left, did you see it? Yeah, but first of all we just need to loot if you remember, I did kill that first big daddy here. So I've got an R34 Y cluster from him. You see that little lock box? That's where the big daddy was. And he's despawned and left that in his place. So that's an R34. I got an R34 from that big daddy I killed just before in the heat loss monitoring. And there's one we killed in here. And if you remember, there's that corpse that was next to the where you assemble the bomb. Yes, remember we killed a big daddy here, and there's a lockbox for it, R34Y cluster. And if you, I'm not sure if you remember, there was a big daddy corpse at the start as well, by the way, if you remember. So if you are still short of an R34, you can find a corpse of big daddy back at the top of the core, if you remember, where we found, um, where we threw that lever to begin with. So I just picked out a body to um, set up for the trip wise. You got a second upgrade station here in Kai Burz's office. You got a second upgrade station. And this desk here, there's a little switch on the side. Can you see that little switch? Intriguing switch. Yeah, if you're intrigued, press it. And you got an audio file, great chain moves swiftly, or was it slowly? This filing cabinet, I find that always has an enzyme Campbell enzyme sample and then grab the is it nitroglycerin from that um, little chamber and basically we've got all the audio logs now basically so I'm just showing you every audio log you should have yeah that's everyone that you should have yeah nitroglycerin yeah, so once you've got everything in there make sure you've got everything and make our way back now and we'll loot that final corpse on the way back get the final R34 there we go R34Y cluster 4 off 4 yeah back into this little hatch and there's the EMP bomb yeah so I've just interacted with it and then quickly looted that area quickly while I'm waiting for the dialogue so I can pick it up there we go yeah, I don't know why, but for the rest of the game, I keep having text appear on my screen saying to collect the a EMP bomb. Some sort of glitch occurred for me. So be a few enemies on your way out. But it's nothing, you'll, you won't break a sweat over them. Yeah, basically making our way back out to the sort of core. The out outer catwalks, and we're heading into the middle sort of door now. 
and uh, where we can place the bomb. Yeah, so back out here to the core. I send you and we're going to make our way down here now. And back down to this room here, the geothermal control. Coming here now, you have the bomb. Just come straight through into the back room. Hack these turrets and control them. We'll zap them and then hack them. Zap and hack. And then once you've done them, we're going to come over here and turn this valve. I'm just waiting for the dialogue to finish. I just did a bit of looting while I'm waiting. You will get attacked here, so you can either stop and kill the enemies when they spawn in, or you can just keep hacking it like I am and let you, let your turrets kill them. Obviously, if you're on a high difficulty, you'll need to keep stopping to get rid of the enemies. But EC, you can just stand here. Basically, that component in the middle that's rotating, once it's facing you, the hole is facing you, that's basically where you need to rotate it to. Oh, look at him, he tried to help you. Oh no, he's still there, he's trying to help you pull, um, turn the valve. That's a nice thing. It's alright mate, I've got this. I think he struggled with them books. So I'm just going to get rid of these final enemies. Look at him casting fire. Right, once it's done, you can bring the lift down. Or it should come down by itself, then go inside. We'll be getting the last tonic in a minute. It's one more tonic on this level. Yeah, in here there'll be a flashback, and then just wait for a minute during the flashback. Otherwise, you may run past the tonic. There we go. Short-term alarms number two. Yeah, short-term alarms number two. Make sure you grab it. And then activate lift control. And once your lift gets to the top, you can place a bomb and then get the hell out of here. There you go. Would you kindly place that bomb on there? There you go. Place. Right now, now we need to go back to where that lever was. See, so it still says pick up the completed EMP bomb on the screen. And it keeps saying that for the rest of the game. What a nasty little glitch. Luckily nothing harmful happens. Yeah, so just making our way back up now to where we first put that switch and the hanging corpses were hanging around, I guess. And we got two audio files from them. Yeah, there's that corpse. Course, if you want, if you need an extra R34 Y cluster, and you couldn't find a Big Daddy. If you've not got that last little sister, by the way, you do want to find it before you come up here. So you may want to be um, go down to the core, run around in the lower areas until you find a Big Daddy. So I flick that switch, and then I'm just looting this stuff while I'm waiting for the door to open. There we go, it's open now, and that is it. You can head to the next area. Yeah, so I'll just show you again, guys. That's all the audio files. Seventeen audio files you should have altogether. Seventeen, and then there we go. Rapture control. Now, rapture control being the next part, but I just make you aware now there are some missable trophies here because you cannot revisit this part. So make sure you watch my next video before you begin rapture center central control. This is uh, Rapture Central Control and you cannot revisit this area so make sure you do everything the first time. Make sure it's still set to easy and disable Vita Chambers are set to on. Yeah, so there's sort of a boss fight on this level but there isn't. You'll see what I, you'll see what I mean shortly. Uh, but there's your first audio file there, the Vita Chamber. Make sure you get this before you go, before you um, go through the little crawl space because you cannot revisit this area ever <laughs> ever unless you reload an earlier save so make sure you get that audio file all there is to collect on this level is three audio files that is it now we're just waiting for this dialogue to finish before we can actually progress that's why I'm actually looting here otherwise I wouldn't normally 
but we cannot do anything for a good minute or so. Basically, we need to head up these stairs here, but you can't start an invisible barrier until he's finished talking, Andrew Ryan. And um, yeah, you'll be able to go over here. As you can see, there's an invisible wall. And once you get through, you go up the stairs on the left. There we go. And uh, this crawl space. Once you come through here, like I say, once you drop down, you cannot backtrack. So make sure you get that audio file, the beta chamber. And in here, it's your last two audio files my control test and baby status. Baby status, that's not referring to me. Grab them, so three audio files on this level, and that's all, that's all there is to collect guys. Just make sure you get them before you progress because you cannot backtrack on this level. And then once you got them, make your way through here. And this is it, this is a boss fight which isn't a boss fight. Uh, basically this is what inspired The Last of Us 2. You'll see what I'm talking about shortly. From a slave. Maybe Abby was under mind control. Maybe that's what it was. Power. Would you kindly no, do this? I won't say anything, I just want to spoil it. But yeah, this guy, obeys. you think it's going to be a boss fight, but you think you have it's memories. not. He just wants a round of golf, but he's got no golf balls. Or a tea. An and yeah, long cutscene here, guys. I'm just going to skip forward ahead a bit because there's not really much else happening. And once you finish the little golf mini game, the golf mini game, you'll get a trophy. And that will be defeated Andrew Ryan. And you get that weird looking, weird, weird ass key. There you go, defeated Andrew Ryan. And they're going to come in here and we're going to use that weird looking key. And lob in the keyhole. Yeah, that little card slot is the keyhole. That, le that letterbox. Yeah, you're going to self destruct override. Another short cutscene you have to wait for. So I'll just get past this a little bit quickly, guys. Right, in a second, that door should open. There we go. And just follow the little sister. Yeah, they've become friendly now. Now we've been helping them all this time. Yeah, follow the little sister. She'll basically take you down to this vent. And you'll drop down the hole into the next area. So yeah, that's where you can't revisit this. So you, yeah, you may want to... I've made a save here. Um, it's just in case it crashes because I actually had the game crash when I dropped down here one time It crashed then I just got stuck on the loading screen And by the way if when you're saving your game if you get told you do not have enough save blocks You have to delete your saves By just going to the save menu and then pressing triangle on the save to, to delete it And once you uh, delete it so many you should be able to save again We're on ele uh, level 11 Olympus Heights and you wake up here in Tenenbaum's safe house Luckily that wasn't a big fall, we landed on this mattress and you can't do anything for the time being, I mean you can move around uh, but you basically have to wait for this dialogue to play out and uh, shortly after the little sister shall follow you and unlock the door. If the dialogue is finished and no little sister is appearing you may have to go back down just get the attention off one of them and then she'll follow you back up and she'll open the door so that you can progress. And here, we're not going to be collecting anything other than main collectibles. So just main collectibles here. Obviously, we will rescue the little sisters along the way. Um, but yeah, no, nothing to collect. At this point in the game, you should... If you've been sort of collecting what I have... You know, them first levels where we got all the crafting materials become available. If you were sort of looting everything I've shown you, and um, afterwards you're looting the containers I was looting... To get the to get more enzyme samples you should be close to having what we need to craft everything and all we really need so there's a little sister just down there near the bunk beds she's obviously distracted talking all you really need is enough to craft the tonics when it comes to actually crafting stuff the 100 items for the trophy it's saved so if you if you save your game crafting items load it back up crafting items that would be 20 the game saves every time you craft some. It saves to your profile basically. So it doesn't matter if you don't have enough, you can just keep loading the save up, keep crafting stuff. So it's not the end of the day if you don't have as much as me. All you need is basically make sure you've got enough to do the tonics. Because you do need them tonics and we're going to keep them with us all at once. So once you get up here in the sort of sewer, you're going to grab the gate crank and use it on this lever. 
There you go, sewer gate winch, and that will open the trap door, the storm drain. And there's not much to collect here, really. There's, I think there's six audio files, um, two tonics, and maybe one um, one upgrade machine, something, something like that. Um, so here's the first big daddy. Hopefully, should sort of be in this area for you as well. So as you can see, it's a rosy. It's a rosy. And little sister there. We still need to rescue all the little sisters in the game. Even if you're taking pictures, you still have to rescue them. We still need that Adam for buying tonics. And you need to get through the game rescuing every single one for a trophy. Well, without harvesting any, basically. And in here, this is your first audio log, Mozart of Genetics. That's your first audio log. It's here in the sort of bar area. Mozart of Genetics. Bed and machine there, nothing special inside. I thought I'd just check if there's any film in case anybody's short. Just gonna keep following that objective marker. Uh, just looting that enemy first. You'll get tons of money now by the way, so if you ever need first aid kits or anything, just, just buy them from the vending machine if you don't want to loot. You'll be coming across so much money now on enemies and stuff and big daddies. Yeah, we've just head into Mercury Suites. We actually get a missed trophy here as well um, from Sander Cohen. You'll find out why we didn't kill him on the Fort Frolic level. You'll find out on this. So, a lot of nitro splicers, so if you still need to photograph them, you can do that here. So, here's another big daddy. There we go, and look, another little sister. There you go, rescue her. I can't recall if it's two or three on this level. There you go, once you rescued her, I'm just going to loot them. And I'm going to come in this door on the sort of right first. I'll show you on the map where it is in a minute. So we, we're going to be getting an uh, upgrade machine. So it's going to kill these two Houdini splices. And that will cause Sander Cohen to come down from his room, which is there. Um, but he doesn't come down to the dialogue stops, so I'm just going to kill them two, and then I'm going to come back outside and get this weapon upgrade machine. There's actually two weapon upgrade machines on this level, actually. Yes, yeah, so you're going to get this weapon upgrade machine in the Mercury Suites. There you go, four fully upgraded weapons now, and I'm just going to destroy this camera or, or hack it as well. I'm going to come in this room now. And there's an audio file there, Artist Woman. That's in Cool Pepper's apartment, so that's sort of on the north and Cohen's apartments on the east side of the of the um, suite of the apartment complex. And we're heading into the west apartment now. And Sander Cohen, you'll find he'll he'll sort of follow you here. He does me in a second. And round the back here is another audio file. And that's Fontaine's human jukebox. Yeah, this is Jong's apartment. But it's actually another audio file in here. And it's just in this flooded area. There's Sander Cohen. There he is, he's followed me. But you'll get a trophy for him. Um, when you kill him, you need to take a picture of his corpse and make sure you loot the key from his body. Sander Cohen's muse key. Yeah, you need to take a picture of his corpse. I actually forget. I'd come back in a, in a minute. Yeah, take a picture of his corpse. And in here is another audio file. And a tonic. So you've got the mind control. Mind control um, antidote audio file. And you've got a clever inventor tonic. Yeah, you definitely want them. Very important. That's That makes you... Um, Clever Inventor, I think that makes it take less to craft things. So you definitely need that. And Cohen's apartment here. And once you get up here, I actually realised that I did forget to photograph him. So this is his apartment. Once you get up here, you get a trophy, found Cohen's room. And there'll be a second upgrade station in here. Yeah, second upgrade station. 
to only need three oh, more upgrade stations left, I think it was. Yes, yeah, so like I say, make sure you get his key from his body when you loot him. Yeah, so um, there's a vending machine here. That's actually filming that vending machine if you need it. But I'm just going to take a picture of his corpse now. Hopefully, you've already done this. And I mentioned it to you earlier. But he's in the kitchen. There he is. Just take a picture of his corpse for his masterpiece. There we go. The masterpiece would not be complete with the picture of the master. The irony. So that's that misc trophy. And we're going to come over to this now. I'm just showing you that. You get a film from there. And now we're going to make our way right to the top because there's an audio file up here. One single audio file. The story does bring you up here, but you don't need to go up here. You can sort of skip ahead this objective if you know the code to the elevator. So you just come up here, and there's an audio file. There it is, that yellow one. Just grab that. Fontaine's Breakup. There it is, right at the top of the Mercury Suites. And then just jump down and put in the code of the elevator. Yeah, so the code, guys, it's 5744. 5744. And then in and press the elevator button. And so, just up ahead, we're going to get another audio file in a second, and a tonic, I think I remember. Yeah, security camera there. You may want to just destroy that first before it gets a chance to alert security of your presence of the intruder. Yeah, so come up these steps, and uh, just on the right there, audio file, sad saps. Sad saps. There you go, Fontaine's apartment. And that should be the last audio file in Olympus Heights. So there's only six, only six in this area. That's all you should have. And then once you've got them up these steps, take a left. And take a left again. And grab that tonic. Electric flesh number two. That's in this sort of office area. And then here you've got lot 192. Lot 192. So we'll grab that and then turn around. Right, that's all we're doing here now, so we can move on to the next area. So just make your way back through here. I was going to kill these suckers and loot them. Get me some goodies. We got that turret gun in there quick, didn't they? Yeah, back in the elevator. Back down to the bottom of the suites. Uh, we're just going to backtrack a little bit now to um, the door which leads us to the next area. Yeah, where we'll find the second dose of 192. Yeah, so the second dose is not actually in this area. We have to go into a different area. That's it, nobody shoots me and gets away with it. Yeah, probably should come across another big daddy in a second. I can't recall if you need um, three little sisters or two on this level. But there is a gift over there. There should be a gift here now. It gathers garden. Yeah, she'll get obviously 200 Adam. And you could get armored shell number two. Armored shell number two, tonic. And there it is. Yeah, you just follow the obje the objective mark will take you there. Yeah, so there's only two little sisters here, guys. And yeah, bulkhead to Apollo Square. And that's it. Yeah, not too much on that level. Nice, quick one. And I'm sure you've noticed that um, your plasmids keep randomly changing. Here's your first audio file. What's happening here? This is just near the start. 
Yeah, so your plasmids will keep randomly changing until you get a second dose of that lot 192 of the sort of antidote. Um, so you can't really use your plasmids for now, unless you, you luckily get the one randomly selected which you want to use. So um, here's your first big daddy and your little sister to rescue. So it's going to get rid of the Rosie and then rescue her. Rescue your little Doris here. Don't worry, you're safe now. I think there's there's three big daddies on this level that we need to well three little sisters we need to rescue. And I've not mentioned it, um, but I will. I'll do it now just to make sure. Uh, just to make sure. Yeah, make sure your game's on easy difficulty still, and that your disabled Vita chambers is still set to on. So come through here. There's an audio file near this gatherer's garden. Atlas lifts. Atlas lifts. Yeah, this is this level seems it does seem very similar to the level before, the um, Olympus Heights seems very similar, a slightly different layout. So audio file there, guys. Atlas lifts. You're gonna get that, and then you're gonna carry on towards the objective marker. I take out a few punks on the way. We're gonna go to Ar Artemis Suites. How's that? Yeah, just give night for turrets. There's one turret here. And you've got a mini uh, camera there. And as you get through here, there'll be another camera. Which you want to get rid of quickly so it doesn't call in any bots. Yeah, so just hack that quickly with an auto hacker. So I can stack up. i stocking up on basically first aid kits, Eve high post, and uh, film from there. So destroy that camera. We'll come up these steps. The sort of second floor. Nice for splicer there. And we're going to come into the store in the clinic, the free clinic. Wow. And uh, in here, the sort of bathroom, you'll find the medical expert three tonic in the bathroom on the Artemis second floor. Medical expert three. So grab that, and we'll find a audio file in a second as well. And a lot one nine two. So come back out of here after getting that tonic and head straight into this room. Careful because there is a camera there but we'll destroy it on the way out. So in the clinic there's an audio file on the floor, protection bond. Yeah it's just on the floor, protection bond, audio file. And once you have that, lot 192 is just at the back here on the cabinet. There you go. And once it takes effect you should be able to select your plasmids again. And you'll get a trophy, Broke Fontaine's Mind Control. Yeah, well done guys. Now, would you kindly jump down here and uh, follow me. Yeah, nothing else to do over there. Yeah, Point Prometheus next. There's literally two more levels left. Assuming you've done everything like the research PhD and that. So once you get here, yeah, it's going to make our way through here and destroy the turret. Yeah, I did say there was, I said there's two big daddies, didn't I? But I think uh, three. There's only two. Yeah. Yeah, excuse that mistake. Yeah, there's only two big daddies. Sorry, two little sisters. Only two little sisters to rescue. So I normally drop down there first, just destroy them enemies. You can actually go finish level now, but because we need these collectibles, it's going to come over here. So once you get through here, turn right, and there's a suitcase with an audio file inside it. That trunk, meeting Atlas, meeting Atlas. Now normally I find my second big daddy here, my second little sister, but I think because I'm perhaps a little bit quicker than what I normally am, it's not spawned in. Yes, yeah, so that's all the audio files you should have. There's still a few more yet though, so um, don't worry at the moment. Yes, yeah, so make your way to the top here. All the way to the top. And into this room at the end here. Turn right, not left. Come in here and basically we need to make our way down to the room below us. Yeah, because this is the only way in. Yeah, down there, it's going to get rid of this enemy and there's an upgrade station there. And we're on Hester, fourth floor there, right at the top. 
We've gone to the top floor, then dropped down to the floor below it from a hole inside the room. There we go. Five fully upgraded weapons, only need two more. Now you're going to audio file here, the longest con. The longest con, and you've got atomic a tonic beside it, focus hacker number two. And you got this corpse over here has the today's raid audio file. So make sure you loot that. Right, and now you can get out. Just got to get that last little sister. You can come out the window here. Yeah, I'm just seeing if I can spot a little sister anywhere. I've literally ran straight in there before. That's I normally go for this level. And the little sister has been in there. Either spawned at the bottom or near the top. So we're supposed to go down there into the metro. Basically into the subway. But we're going to have to backtrack a little bit because we need to look for that last little sister. So you just come back here, basically where your other one was. Oh, there it is. Yeah, if he's not there, sort of head back toward. If you remember where the first one was, out towards the start of the area, check the map and make your way out there. And you can walk, and then you can run back, and hopefully it should spawn somewhere along that way. So I'm just gonna get the last little sister. There we go. Get rid of that Rosie. And we can make our way to the subway now. I've right, got 80 Adam. Really plenty, plenty of Adam. The Rapture Metro. Please be careful. There we go, into the elevator. And it will take you down to the metro station. And then we're going to the last, well, the last area with main collectibles. This last area, we're going to pop a lot of trophies in it, by the way. Because there's no main collectible. There's two parts left, basically. And in the final part, it's basically just like the end boss. And your sort of journey to the end boss. No collectibles. This next part will be where we get everything else. Yeah, so it's basically from the what's happening here audio file upwards that's the six you should have point prometheus we are almost there so first of all as always make sure difficulty set to easy and disable vita chambers is on yeah we're going to get all this all the sort of collectible trophies we're going to pop them all here apart from the one for rescuing all the little sisters which pops at the end yeah, we're going to do the tonic trophy, the inventing trophy, the audio file trophy. Quite a lot. And this level does probably seem like it's, it probably just seemed like a bit confusing at first, just because uh, I guess it could be quite easy to get lost. And there's a lot of things we need to collect here, story-wise as well. And uh, we, we do get a few story trophies on this part as well, or well, one at least. So these, turret, these bots always come through, I just normally hack them and uh, get them on my side. Oh yeah, we get the upgrade trophy as well here. Yeah, so once you come in here, there's a upgrade machine straight opposite you, power to the people. There you are, just in the atrium. We've been to a lot of atriums in this game. And this big daddy, just wait a minute and there you go, you can loot the suit control system from his corpse. Yeah, to wait. You may have to wait a minute for that dialogue to finish playing before you can actually loot it because it becomes available to loot. And we're going to make our way through here. Jump on this uh, table that's been turned on its side, smash a glass and crouch to get through. And here's your first big daddy and little sister. There's three little sisters on this level and this will be the last three we need. And you should get a trophy here for finding them all. And um, you want to try and go through this game the same sort of route that I do, this level. Depending on how fast you are, big daddies may not be where they are for me. They may not be in the same place as you, basically. So if they're not, you may just want to move around that area a bit. But normally there's, sort of three, there's three, main area, three main areas on this. And you normally get a big daddy in each area, I find. 
So that security camera, and we've got a tonic here, guys. Safe cracker number two in Little Wonders. Yeah, seeing this like Little Wonders area, I normally find a Big Daddy here, and a Big Daddy in two other areas later, which I'll point out to you. Yeah, make sure you get that four Ramon sample from the table next to that tonic. We need three of them. So that's the first one, and the other two are up these steps. So come up here, turn left, and you find the second pheromone. There you go, this is the atrium balcony. Atrium balcony. And you find another audio file here, why just skills. And then come around to the, the, the um, opposite side, and you find the last pheromone sample. There you go. And you're going to cover here, try and be quick here, you shouldn't have to worry about that camera then. And there's an audio file in here, but you need to have your incinerator, and you need to melt all the ice. This audio file took me ages to find in here, so there's so much things in here you can loot. So this trash bin, there's two trash bins here on the right, you want the one in front, and inside is the changing employees. Audio log, obviously nothing important if it's been put in the trash bin. Over here you want to come in the left side into the opti optimized eugenics eugenics and you're going to make your way through here basically we're going around in like a clockwise um, route so you've got audio file here on top of the um, mainframe marketing is it marketing gold it said yeah marketing gold you'll find an audio file in there come out here come in this room directly on the last on the left the eugenic analysis you got last power to the people machine here. And this should pop the trophy for getting all weapon upgrades. Yeah, that's where we are. So this optimizes eugenics. You normally get a big daddy here as well. Yeah, there we go. Weapon specialist. That's what upgrading every single weapon. Every single weapon. And if that trophy's not popped for you, you could just reload this level, get them to again, but on they upgrade a different weapon. And it should work. So extra munitions. There's an audio file there, extra munitions. Audio file just near that guy between his legs. And then coming here, we're going to come in this room just at the left of the camera. But I'll break it first. Yeah, this room here. There's going to be a tonic in here. Oh, we've got a little sister. Yeah, so I'm on about five minutes. So when by the time we saw that other little sister, it's perhaps probably been about two minutes. So yeah, rescue her. Yeah, it's like I said, I think it's on a timer. Um, unless it's scripted, you have to wait one to two minutes before another one can spawn in. So you see that tonic up there, it's on fire. Alarm expert number two. Yeah, grab that. And then just to the right here, yeah, alarm expert number two. And just to the right here, it's the story thing that we need. The voice box modification machine. Now you sound really, you have a really deep voice now. And uh, on the way out, you can kill these enemies that will animate. Right, we've done this area. Now, sort of one more, one more area similar to this. And you should find the last little sister there as well. Vending machine there if you need some more first aid kits and the high post. So it's going to make her way to the opposite side now off the um, balcony. And you find a gatherer's garden there. And a gift. Yeah, so prolific inventor. You got a 200 add in there and a tonic prolific inventor. What that does, it makes it so when you craft something, you craft double. But it doesn't mean that the basically the extras you craft doesn't count towards your trophy, by the way. So it doesn't mean craft 50 things, you get a trophy. You still have to craft 100 things. So you've got Gather's Garden here. And soon we'll, we will pass a gene bank soon. And what I'll do, I will show you. If you do not have them equipped already, you want to make sure you've got the tonics assigned to you, the clever inventor and the prolific inventor. So it's coming in this area now. And just keep an eye out for a big daddy or even the sound of a big daddy walking around. So in here you've got a tonic, you've got the uh, Hacker's Delight number three. Hacker's Delight number three just here in the atrium sort of balcony area. And you've got the Big Daddy helmet. Yeah, your vision's a little bit reduced here. But it's pretty cool looking like a Big Daddy. Shame, shame you can't look at yourself. 
And there's a big daddy bodysuit. Yeah, re reduces damage by 25%. There you go, 25% resistance to all damage. Now up here is going to be three audio files. You got one here. That's the protecting little ones just on top of the cabinet. Quite difficult to see that one. Protecting little ones on top of the cabinet. I'm going to carry on through here, and through here is going to be Gene Bank and another audio file. So you've got audio file there, mistakes. Just next is Gene Bank. Make sure you grab that one, mistakes. Yeah, don't make a mistake and miss it. And in this Gene Bank, yeah, so make sure you have Clever Inventor assigned and Prolific Inventor. Prolific Inventor don't matter too much, like I say, don't really count, but. You do definitely need clever invent clever inventor assigned. And then once you get out of here, there'll be another audio file shortly. Would you kindly grab it? It's just over here, protect your smell. Yeah, so it's just on here, actually making your way down the suit assembly up the floor. Yeah, then jump over here, careful you don't fall down the middle. We want to land on this side. Then melt the ice coming here and get another. Audio log, you cheap son of a bitch. There it is. And the sort of armoured escorts, a sort of lab which has had all ice blocking it. I'm going to get the last audio log in a second. And we should come across the last little sister as well. Yes, yeah, so this you invent machine. Right. What you want to do now, guys, save your game. Save your game. And if you find out that you've got no space to save, like me here. Just press triangle to delete some of your old safe games. And eventually you should be able to make a save. You, sometimes it seems like you have to delete more than what you need. Like if you need, if you only need one save, I found sometimes I've had to delete three saves. So once you save your game, you're gonna hack this. And you're gonna, what you're gonna do then is, yes, yeah, so that's where we are, the fail saved armored escorts. You're gonna hack it and then you're gonna craft Leave the tonics for now. You're going to craft one of each ammo type. One of each ammo type. So just go down and that should get you the ammo inventor. And now we're just going to craft as much as we can. Avoid the tonics. Just do everything else. And basically we want to get a trophy for crafting 100 items. The avid inventor trophy. If you don't get it then just load that game back up, craft some more things because I'd say once you craft 50 for example 50 will get saved to your profile then you've got to load 50 more, uh, craft 50 more even if you load the save game back so let's load the save game back, craft more until you get that trophy guys, Avid Inventor and once you have got it load your game back up which you just made that save game so you get all your crafting materials back and then we just want to craft the three tonics and then carry on with the game because we want them in our inventory. So hackers to light number two. Yeah, craft that. You want booze hound. Craft that. And you also want the bloodlust. The bloodlust, quite a good ability actually if you're using a um, wrench a lot because it heals your body when you melee somebody. Yeah, so make sure you get them three. Then three tonics from the uh, your invent machine. And this your last audio file guys, missing boots. And it's here. Failsafe Armoured Escort, so Western Room, in the top left corner, Historian. Yeah, that's for finding every single audio log. Yeah, that's what you should have. Uh, nine, nine on this level. I probably should have showed you every single one, but I didn't think of it at the time. I should have showed you every single file which you should have in every area, so you can sort of find out what you missed. So apologies for not doing that. That uh, would have been very helpful, I think. Didn't think about it at the time. Right, so what I'm doing now, I'm just looking for the last little sister. So, it, one should spawn in this area where we are. So I'm just going to keep looking around to find it. It's best sort of if you keep going in these end rooms, by the way. Well, the room on the east or the room on the west. That was where this sort of seems to spawn. Or in the corridor. Sometimes it's spawning in the corridors. So out here, and there we go, found him, last little sister. Come on mate, I want that trophy. 
Yeah, so that's where I am. Just keep moving between um, the west and east areas there and you should find one. Well, you listen out for the footsteps as well. Sometimes the footsteps can lead you to them. Yeah, there we go. Dealt with every little sister. That's for basically harvesting or finding every little sister, I think. But the trophy at the end of the game is for completing the game without harvesting any. So that's why we need to make sure we rescued everybody. Right, it's going to head into the library now, and then we can leave this level. And we're going to also going to do the tonics as well. We're going to get all the tonics in a minute. Now, with the tonic trophy, yeah, it's a gift here. Your last gift, 200 Adam, and then just some uh, ammo and stuff. Yeah, so the tonic trophy actually pops earlier. Leave the health and eve upgrades. They're not really related to anything. Do not get the upgrades. You just want the tonics. Yeah, see, the tonic collector pops here. And I've still got like 10 tonics left to buy. So I think it can pop. I think this is similar to like the, um, I think similar to like the inventor trophy where when you've bought a tonic, it gets saved to your profile. And the trophy is for collecting 58 tonics. Not, I don't think it's for collecting all 58 tonics. It's just for collecting 58. So I have a theory that you could just keep collecting one tonic loading the game, collecting the same tonic, loading the game, collecting the same tonic, loading the game, and doing that 58 times, and that could pop the trophy. I don't know, it's just a theory, but I'm just curious why it popped so early for me here, and on my other account, it popped even earlier. But that account, I kept reloading saves, I kept reloading saves and grabbing stuff again. Um, but that's it, we've got the tonic trophy, guys, for getting every tonic, and I've also bought them all as well. I've brought all the tonics, um, but it's actually one more tonic. Yeah, there's another tonic yet. So you got damage research through here. And you got the boots. Yeah, so there we go. Last tonic, damage research number two. That's where we are in the library. And you get the boots here as well. And that's all we need to do in this level. Yeah, the boots are around this corner. There we go. Big daddy boots. Yeah, so that's every single tonic in the game. Yeah, you get a trophy there. Become a big daddy. That's story related. Just jump down here knock on the wall and uh, summon a little sister yeah that's every tonic so even if the trophy didn't pop early for you like it did for me we've got every tonic so that should pop the trophy no matter what but once you get a little sister spawner once you are big daddy if you're not big daddy yet it's because you missed something you didn't quite pick something up that i did she'll open this door and then we can head to the last area guys nothing else to collect now we just got to make our way to the boss and then defeat him. So there we go, into the proving grounds. There'll be a bit of dialogue before you can actually enter. Well, it's the final part of Platinum, no collectibles. We just got to make, we basically got to escort little sister all the way through to where the boss is. And if you're on easy still, and obviously you still got your Vita Chambers, disabled Vita Chambers turned to on. Yeah, you shouldn't have any problem with this if you're still on easy. So I'm not really going to be looting anything. There's going to be a few enemies along the way which I'll kill, but there'll be one. There'll be one bouncer we'll face as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's not really much. When you get to the end, there will be a load of machines. By the way, so you can stock up on things if you want. And by the way, once you get to the very end of this level, there'll be an elevator you have to go up to reach the last boss. Once you go up that elevator, you cannot come back. You have to reload an early save. Because there is an auto save when you've got the elevator as well. So, if you do need to backtrack for anything, you need to do it either now or just before you get up the elevator. If you get to the elevator, you have to you have to basically run all the way back to Bathosphere to um, backtrack anywhere else. So you may want to backtrack now if you want to. It's not the end of the day, it just means you're going to have to spend a minute running back to where the bathosphere is. Yeah, but as long as you do it before you go up the elevator, guys, you're good. Yeah, so when she's walking, do not run too far away from her. She seems to, when you walk, she'll sometimes she'll just stop. Um, but yeah, obviously protect her. Yeah, I'm not doing a very good job. She's already been clobbered on the head. Luckily she didn't even flinch. Hop, hop, no time to 
if you get too far ahead, sometimes she will start sprinting. Um, she'll do it in a minute. So I get far ahead, don't she start sprinting? But sometimes she will just stop. Uh, but once she starts sprinting, she normally always sprints then. It's just getting to start sprinting in the first place. So yeah, when you see enemies, get rid of them. Basically what will happen, as you escort her, she'll find corpses. And she'll try to escort the Adam from them. Like this corpse here is the first one. She's laying there peacefully. May he rest in peace. Hurry, Mr. B. I can yeah, test subject number one. And you get distracted as Adam. Would you kindly do that for me, little sister? Yeah, it's a piranha. Yeah, so um, some enemies will try to ambush you. They come from each of these two corridors. Here he comes. They all want the Adam. Adam's going to destroy this galaxy. There's another one with a Tommy gun. Yeah, I'll just keep, uh, I'll just keep spawning. You just get a mixture of thug, thugs and um, the ones with uh, firearms. But then once you get a spider splicer, that indicate the spider splicer will always be the last one. There he is. Once you got a spider splicer, go back to... Um, Little sis, Doris, and she should be done. Yeah, she's done. Spider Spice is always the last one. And there you go, she's running now, finally. Hurry, Mr. B. Yeah, still, you see it on the screen there? Pick up the completed EMP bomb. Yes, make way down here. Watch out for the cameras and the turrets. Yes, yeah, a flame turret there. That's a flame turret. Yeah, here's the other corpse. I thought she got lost then. But no, here's the other test subject. I don't happen to that camera, just wouldn't see me. It's obviously got a dirty lens. Yeah, so just defend her again. I don't even know if it's really worth showing this. I mean, I could just skip through this because, I mean, it's... I don't know, there's nothing to collect. And if you're on EC, it's nothing to worry about. You just basically you're just following a little sister, escorting her. You can't really go wrong here. But remember, Spider Slicer should be the last enemy. There he is. Yes, time to go. I agree. Oh, yeah, I'm a big daddy. I forgot. I'm a master of disguise, me. Alright, follow me, little sister. Here she comes. Give her time. She's only got little legs. Bless her. There you go. You go through a little mouse hole. Central atrium now. There's one more sort of corridor like that, and you're basically at the boss. Yeah, it don't take too long this section. There's the bouncer. The demolition vandal destroying all the bones in the museum. Yeah, just let's go. There'll be two turrets here that will spawn. There you go. One will spawn from here, and there'll be one on the opposite side. But they do, they do sort of miss you. You don't have to destroy them, but um, you got you got a few minutes while you're waiting for her. So remember, if anything dares to shoot you, it is it deserves to be destroyed. Do not use your electro button because it may give Doris a bit of a tickle. There you go. To get rid of them punks, Doris should catch up. There she is. Right, here's my failed attempt trying to kill an airborne enemy that I can't reach. I need an extension for my wrench. Right, where's Doris got to? Oh wow, she should be escorting me. 
Right, carry on, and eventually you'll be ambushed by a bouncer after this test subject, number three. Oh, we've got a turret and we've got a camera. Join my team, join the winning team. Yes, yeah, so you guys, test subject here. We get ambushed again by some enemies. The spider splicer should. I was going to say should be the last one, but this one seems to be the first enemy. Come on, are we up extracting that, Adam? I could have done it by now. Right, we've triggered the enemies, they're triggered. He's trying to summon a little sister. Only big daddies can do that. Gotta get rid of the twins here. Dumb and dumber that was. Right, come on Doris, let's go. I think, I can't remember if there's another test subject. I think that's it, just three. I think that's it, three. Uh, once you get to the end, yeah, you'll be ambushed by a bouncer. Apparently, he does not know where the door is. That's it. Once he's finished, he's just finished work at the building site. Drilling a hole. And that's ba that's basically it. J um, come through this fire into another room, and you basically at the elevator for the boss. So in this room, you basically got everything you need. You got vending machine. You got all the machines you need if you want to stock up on anything, if you want to invent anything, if you want to purchase anything from Gatherer's Garden. I do buy the upgrades now, and I did buy the upgrades on the last level just basically because we don't need to spend Adam on anything else. So I just buy upgrades with it. So there's nothing else to buy. And upgrades, by the way, every level. Every Gathers Garden has a different has a upgrade, so we bought upgrades from there, and there's no more to buy. But if you go to Gather Gathers Garden on another level, you can buy them from there as well. Basically, each Gathers Garden on a level has a um, either upgrade to buy, which is exclusive to that level. Um, right, so um, she'll crawl through there, then she'll give you the Adam Harvester, and then once you've got that, save your game. And like I say, if you need to backtrack. This is the last point you can do it. You have to head all the way back to the Bathosphere and you can backtrack. Yeah, won't let me save my game here. I've got to delete quite a lot of saves. Yes, and um, I did I did actually change my loadout here. I sort of um, optimised my loadout a little bit. You don't need to on easy. I, I was going to show it, but I just deleted it in the end because it, I'm there for about eight minutes just reading everything. Yeah, I just changed my loadout just so I've got sort of all all sort of key plasmids and tonics that I use a lot um, because what happened when you've killed this boss the game will make a new game plus but it apparently reading what it says in game the new game plus it loads the data from when you last completed the game so what whatever your status is like your loadout I guess as well when you complete the game whenever you get to the point in the new game plus to get all your abilities back because you don't start with everything you have to get to medical pavilion I think before you get all your weapons and stuff and you have to get to Neptune's bounty before you get all your tonics I believe yeah you keep everything from what you keep what you had when you finish the game basically and this is it the last boss Atlas Fontaine's Atlas should I say and basically you gotta bring all his health down and then harvest him, bring all his health down, harvest him and do that a few times. It's not difficult to kill him, not an EC, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Yeah, you see if you sort of strafe around him, he sort of can't hit you. And once you've brought his health down, he'll spawn back here and then extract Adam from him again. And you see you gotta basically do it to extract it to all the Adam. And we'll get we'll get slightly different moves each time and more enemies will spawn in. We 
get back over here one more time then. And what we're going to do here is pop all the trophies. Once, as soon as we press X to um, harvest that last bit of Adam, it's going to press options, we're going to go into um, settings, and we're going to change difficulty to survival. And I'll pop all the trophies for you related to the harder difficulties. I don't know why it works, because it's, it says it's supposed to disable trophies, but doing it now it doesn't. So press X, and once you're about to extract, go into options, gameplay, and set difficulty to survivor. Yeah, it's supposed to avoid the trophies, but it doesn't. And make sure you do press X so it applies. Yeah, make sure it applies. And now once all the trophies pop, we'll get them all. Yeah, so just let a cutscene play out, we have to anyway, you can't skip it. So I'm just showing you, you can you can keep pressing options until you get to the scene after this one. You want to make sure you do it sort of as soon as you can, sort of, um, so that you do not miss the triggers for the trophies. There's your first one, that's that story, that one, so you'll get that anyway. That's for defeating him. You get him, go on, attack. You didn't stand a chance. What can you do when loads of little kids are attacking you? You can't really do much, can you? Savages, look at them. They've been watching me too much. So this cutscene now, yeah, you get all the trophies now. And this cutscene you cannot press options, so make sure you change difficulty before this one. Little Sister Savia, seriously city. good at this. All these trophies are mainly related to doing it on higher difficulties, rescuing every sister, not harvesting any sister basically, and for doing it on Survivor without to... using any Vita Chambers. So yeah, you should get all these trophies. I'm going to get Platinum as well. What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave them the one thing and that was stolen from And there we go, Platinum them. Trophy guys. Chance. So yeah, I will do um, I will do the DLC as well. But DLC, it, it doesn't take long. It doesn't take to long at all. Love. And to yeah, live. so that's it, guys. Platinum trophy on Bioshock. I hope it helped. Um, end, what was your reward? I've tried to keep it nice, fast, and easy to follow. I know I did get you a little bit mixed said. up with the um, the but bouncer on the Fort Frolic because if there was bouncers on the level after, which I did forget about. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's it's quite an easy trophy. It's quite an easy platinum to get if you you know you sort of know what you're doing on it. It's not really that complicated, I don't think. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Platinum trophy. And yeah, it's going to new game plus. All you do, you go into new game, and there it is. You can choose new game plus or new game. And that's all it is. If you did want to do survivor trophy, legit, by the way, or it's not, didn't work for you, you can quickly do new game plus on survivor to get the trophies on there. So we finally got platinum and we're just cleaning up on the last remaining trophies now. If you go into addition, additional content tab on the menu, you've got these sort of three challenge rooms, they don't take long. We're doing them all in this video. And first is the eye in team, the eye in team. And there's four trophies connected to each of these basically. And there's, there's one for completing it, there's one for completing it in certain time limit. There's one for getting all these sort of collectibles in it and there's normally a misc trophy thrown in there as well. So four trophies for each of these and there's three and this is the first one that I in team. All right, so to begin, make sure you change your difficulty to easy. It'll make this much easier. And for this first one, you could probably get every trophy in one run, but it would take a lot of practice. So we're gonna split it in between two and we're gonna do speed one in a second and everything else in this first one. So these crates, the crates in this, these little square boxes, they have like a key item, like a crafting material you need. And there is your first rose. So there's four roses in this level, guys. And make sure you're looting all these little crates that I am. Like I say, they have in, uh, crafting materials that you need. You'll find Eve and some health items on there. You may want to grab another crate there, another crate here. You want to jump on this rose and big daddy. And on that crate is the target dummy. Plasmid, plasmid. Yeah, this is very difficult on high difficulties, by the way. So um, you can get killed very, very easily. And the first three trophies, the main one, 
we need to make sure you see them turrets at the back there make sure none of them get destroyed you can't destroy them but if you go too close the rocket turrets on the top to our right they may destroy them and what you see here what I'm doing with this um, dummy I'm sort of lobbing it in front of me and you don't want to spam it down you want to sort of lob it run forward for a second or two then lob it again because the moment you lob it there's like a a brief like a that's about a second when the turrets are sort of re-aiming the turrets are like re-aiming on them and then that gives you a chance to put it down again and basically it gets the turrets trapped in like a loop where they keep re-aiming so that's what I do with the dummy to get across there lob it down run for a second or two lob it down again and like, like I say it will fall the turrets because they'll keep trying to re-aim and it, it lets you get across but do not go too close to the machine gun turrets otherwise the rocket turrets we destroy them and we need to keep them all left intact now we froze that big daddy you see that rose there you need to jump across and get it and you actually freeze him and use him to jump to that crate as well which we've done already so yeah it's a bit it's a little bit of a tricky jump this one um you can wait for him to unfreeze and let him go a bit closer to it if you want there we go got it that time so that's rose number two guys rose number two and if you noticed back when we got that, um, we got this plasmid, this froze, well, winter blast plasmid. We got this, there's a press plate before it, you have to lure the big daddy onto it. And all them crafting materials we've got, you go to that, once you've got them all, you go to your invent machine, you craft the auto hack tool, and you can hack that machine and it will open the door here. Now you need to let the rockets destroy the big daddy. Destroy, but do not freeze him. If you freeze him, he will not drop any loot and we want him to drop the loot, you'll find out why in a second. So do not freeze him, just keep lowering the, uh, put a dummy down next to him, so when the rocket fires at the dummy, they hit the big daddy. But remember, make sure you don't put rockets too close to machine gun turrets. Now, once you looted his corpse and you've got his grenade launcher from him, you're gonna come over to the sort of middle, um, little alcove at the top there, and try and lob some grenades, and you should see that um, debris fly down. And basically, it's this turret, and it's got a rose connected. It's got a rose inside it. Yeah. So that middle sort of chamber at the top, just shoot grenade grenades up there until the sort of broken turret gets launched down to near you. Then turn around and loot the rose from it. That would be rose number three. And here, lure the big daddy onto that pressure plate, and then freeze him a few times. Yeah. If you freeze him a few times, he stays frozen for a bit longer. So that's what you want to do. And then once you throw some a few times on that pressure plate, sprint down here. And the last rose is in there, guys. And the pressure plate before opens that. Do not interrupt with the big sister, uh, little sister even, until you're ready. And they, then there you go, guys. Interrupt with little sister. You get lem trophies, one for rescuing her, one, one for competing it without destroying the machine gun tourists, and the other one for collecting all of the roses. Now we're gonna do it one more time. But now this is going to be a speed run. You've got to do it in three minutes. Three minutes. And like I say, if you if you practice a lot, you could do this all in one. You could. I think you can. I think you can. I think it'll be tight. But I think you could do it all in one if you practiced. But just keep it easy. We're doing the speed run by itself. Because then you don't have to worry about the machine guns getting destroyed. And you don't have to worry about collecting the roses either. So back down there, remember, you're just grabbing all the loot from the containers. You always need to loot them square containers because you need that to craft the um, automatic hacking tool. You need that plasmid. Okay, I fell down. Yeah, you need the um, target dummy plasmid. Try not to fall down because only idiots fall down. I've never done that. And uh, so back up here, I've got to run across a to uh, turret gauntlet in a second. So in that first. In that first attempt, I actually place it down both I came steps. But you can just do it this way. As long as you're quick, they shouldn't get a chance to target you. And these turrets, they kill you so quick on high difficulties, by the way. Yeah, that's why you want to do this on easy. So we're going to get him to step on that. Should open this door. There you go. Winter Blast. You need the Winter Blast anyway because you need to jump onto the um, Big Daddy from near the start. Press that switch to open the door. Back through here, just got one more crate to loot, then we can craft the automatic tool, get the big daddy killed, and then rescue the little sister. The big daddy has to be killed because otherwise you can't rescue the little sister. Yes, yeah, so there we go, we froze her little daddy. 
I'm going to go back to the U invent machine now, craft the automatic hack tool. There we go, we've got the ingredients we need, so we're going to craft it. There we go, lift, lift the switch, we'll hack it first and then lift it. Here he comes, little daddy and the big sister. So let him get killed. There you go, my enemy has now become my friend, the turrets are on my side. Once a big daddy's killed, after about five seconds, oh no, yeah, I fell down. Yeah, when the, when the turrets have been destroyed, uh, sorry, not the turrets, the big daddy. Once a daddy's been destroyed, the turrets will sort of disarm. Yeah, after about five seconds, one, once he's dead, about five seconds later, all the um, sentries, they disarm, so you don't have to worry about their gunfire. That's it, and then interact with the little sister, and there we go, you get the item team expert. Yeah, that's for completing it in under three minutes. Yeah, so there we go, guys. That's the first DLC, and I'll see you on the second one. So we're doing the second challenge room now, guys. A shocking turn of events. And this one's going to probably take a similar amount of time. It's a little bit more to this one. I mean, the, the level is bigger, and there's a little bit more to collect. But it's the same sort of um, approach again. We're going to do it in two runs. You could do this all in one run. It, would, it could be a little bit easier than the first one because you could actually do the speed run on this first make a save just before you rescue the little sister do the speed run and then load that back up and then get all the collectibles so you could do that this way but I'm going to do it in two, in two goes so first of all as soon as you start guys turn around and kill yourself yeah we're going to start this by killing ourselves what a great start it really gets your confidence going so once you killed yourself you spawn at the Vita chamber pick up the first aid kits Loot the body, grab the shotgun, and get the electric book. Now, if ammo, ammo wise here, it's going to be very, very important. You're just going to have enough, so do not waste anything. You need all your electrical stuff. All the electrical stuff that you find, you're going to need. So, we're waiting for this lift to come up now. We've got the um, shotgun, we've got the electric book, and we use the electric book to open the door on the switch. Now, we dropped on that elevator. Your first rose is here. There's 10 roses on this one. And there's four trophies on this again, guys, um, but I'll explain them as we go along. Your second rose is here. So you come back down the elevator. There's a switch at the top where that rose was, and you come back down on the top. You've got a tonic here, static discharge. You've got a key crate. Them crates with the light bulbs on, they've got a key item in them. And on this corpse, we've got a trap bolt, which we are going to need. And then a jump down here. If there's anything I'm not collecting, by the way, it's because we don't need it. So anything that I collect, make sure you collect it. Now we're going to lure him over here to this ferris wheel. Basically, you've got to electrify this ferris wheel nine times and press the switch nine times. But we can, to press it, you have to electrify it, then it will let you press it once. There's an electric book just next to it. And we let that enemy actually hit us next to it, which obviously set off static discharge, gave this some power, and then we can use it once. So if you use it once, that's pulled the ferris wheel down one. And then we're going to use that electric book we just found. Shoot it. Do not shoot it straight away. Wait until the sort of um, it turns off so you can actually electrify it again. We're going to come in here. We loot that crate. And you've got a third rose just on top of that painting in the toilet. Rose number three. Come back out here with that enemy. Let him hit you near the switch. And use it. That's it. That's wheels turn number three. I'm going to head over here now into Rapture Records. You've got a crate here with some glue inside. And you've got a, your fourth rose there, rose number four. And then after that, we're going to come out, go left, and come into the Grand Carnival. Another crate here. And in this um, little sister hole, there's a rose hidden in there. These roses are hidden really, really well. Uh, there's telekinesis plasmid on the floor there. Then we're going to come into this back room. We're going to loot this crate down there. You got glue and a battery inside. And this broken electric safe, just interact with it and then all these traps will spring. Just grab one of them from the wall, uh, put it into the safe and it will open it. Inside is the crossbow. Now you can use the corpse to set off all these um, traps. That's it. And you can keep it with him. Basically we're going to have to get him on fire and use him to defrost this ice and then drop him down the hole. If you find the body a bit tricky to make him fall down the hole, then you can get one of the teddies just back in the fairground if you find it a bit difficult with the body because it is a tight fit it's a tight fit but it will just get down there there he goes 
and that will make, that will melt the ice down there so you can get electric book and a automatic hacking tool you got to sort of um use your telekinesis and pull them up through the hole there you go it's a little bit awkward we can just do it and then up here there's a rose up there rose number six invented supplies you got some more supplies there in that crate then you come out here and you got a rose in one of these barrels there you go that's rose number seven and they're going to pick up a hook lob it at a balloon this one here to get a rose from it and loot that corpse next to that rose because he's got another trap bolt inside him that's rose number eight come around here there's a crate and you've got a chemical thrower a chemical throw it yep and come over to this room keypad is you got one nine Five one one nine five one on my birthday. Loot that crate and then up there the rose rose number nine. That's it, rose number nine. Then come back outside. Did not use any ammo on these enemies. We need to save the we need to save their death space. Well, we've got to let them attack us and use static discharge. You're gonna come over here, you're gonna hack the U invent machine, and they're gonna craft electric gel and a trap bolt. And we're almost done. So you hack that U vent machine, then you craft electric gel in trap bolt. If you don't have enough materials, then you've missed something. Now we're going to lure that enemy over here, and then we're going to use static discharge to power the Ferris wheel again. There we go. Press the switch. Right, and we've got a thing we need now. We've got all the ammo we need. You've got to do it six times to finish, but nine times for a trophy, and seven times for a rose. So we're just going to use the trap bolts and we're going to use the thrower, the electric gel in the thrower. You should have three trap bolts. There you go. Yeah, to set off the trap bolt, just lob it at the switch, stand there, and after a second, you'll set it off. Just watch your health. You don't. You do not want to kill yourself. Yeah, once you've done it, seven, I think it's seven times, that cog case will fall off. You can get the last rose. So that's rose number nine. Find, uh, sorry, number ten. Find all of the hidden roses. And then once you complete the level, we'll get the trophy flat. So you just want to do it nine times because that's like a misc trophy for doing this nine times. There we go, Master Electrician. Well, not really, we completely destroyed it. But come over to the little sister rescue her and you'll get all the trophies connected to that yeah if you if you wanted to do all these at once you could do the speed run um you could do the speed run first uh but just before you're about to rescue her save your game rescue her get a speed run then load that game back up then you can just go and grab all the um roses and whatnot and do the rest but we're doing it in one and two playthroughs guys so this is the speed run now that's all we're doing the speed run so quickly turn around kill yourself Grab the shotgun, the electric book. There we go. So we only need to get enough to power the ferris wheel six times now. Only enough to power it six times. So we're going to come over here. On this broken table. Drop down here. And we're going to get static discharge. There it is. And we're going to get this trap bolt from this corpse. Just like we did before. Now jump on this table, jump down here, and we're going to get the attention of this um, perp with this pipe there. Doing a bit of window shopping. Pick up the electric book near the switch. Lure him to his demise. There you go. The ferris turned once. One out of six. And then we're going to shoot it with the electric book once it goes back offline. Once it loses power. There you go. Once it loses power, don't waste the bullet. If it's got power, you'll waste it. So just wait for it to depower. And then once you've done that, done the second turn, we're going to come in here, get the attention of that enemy. And we're going to do him as well now, her even. You probably noticed I'm not really looting crates that much now because we don't need to do it nine times. We've only got to do it six, so you don't have to get everything. That's it. Once you've done her, got her to um, electrify it, you're going to come around here and grab telekinesis you're going to come in here grab the crossbow you've got to do this in four four minutes i think it is for the speed run on this one there you go interact with this and then the traps will spring just grab one of the um arrows in the wall 
That's it, grab the crossbow. Out here. Uh, we just want, want to get that trap bolt now from this um, enemy hanging up. Well, it's not an enemy, so it's not. He can't really move. He's not doing anything. Just laying there. It's just propped. And then once you've got a trap bolt, you're going to come over here. 1951. Remember my birthday. Put that in. And we're going to let that enemy follow us. That's all we want. We want that um, woman to follow us. And uh, over here, she's going to be in for a bit of a shock in a second. There we go. So let her attack you. Enable static discharge. There we go. She has been electrified. We can now push the lever down. So let's do that. Let's pull the lever down. And uh, we've got all our trap bolts now. So we can just shoot it. There we go. That's one. And one more. And we're good. Yeah, so what we did, we used three enemies. We used the electric book. And we used two trap bolts. So that's six times. And just talk to little sister now. Rescue her. You're welcome. Bless her. She's been trapped up in the sky for all that time. Can't believe it. They just closed. Completely forgot about it. Just left her up there. But I've rescued you. Don't worry. You are safe again. Just whatever you do, do not go on Ferris wheels. So that's it guys for the second DLC and now onto the third and final one. Final challenge room finally and this will be the last of the trophies for Bioshock. This will be 100%. So we're doing Worlds of Hurt, the Worlds of Hurt challenge room and you want to make sure you choose medium difficulty or above. Very important because there's two trophies here. If, you're not, if you are not on medium or above you will not get them. And But there is a little trick. You can't do like you do in the main game where you... You switch difficulty at the end. On this you have to start on the intended difficulty to get a trophy. But once the game loads in, you can actually decrease difficulty. Yeah, I was trying to be a badass there by starting on Survivor. And we need to do this in 15 minutes by the way. We do all trophies here at the same time here. Just make sure you do this in 15 minutes. So yeah, just start, make sure you start a game on medium or above. Then once you start, decrease difficulty to easy. Uh, then come down here, guys. Get the wrench. I've got a gun. Do not use any firearms. There's a trophy. You can only use plasmids, tonics, and your wrench, I believe it is. There's a rose there. Rose number one. And you're going to kill this enemy. And then you can interact with the little sister. She'll give you a gift. And then the portal will open. Basically, this, is all, this challenge is all combat. You've got like sort of eight rooms or so. And once you killed all the enemies in that room, you can interact with the little sister and move on to the next. This like little hub area. So first gatherer's garden uh, thing we're going to buy from there is the wrench jockey. Yeah, do not buy anything else from the garden for the time being. They're going to come over to the vendor machine and we're going to buy some film. Very important, we're going to buy some film. And probably you just want about 15 or 30 film. And then we're just going to buy some Eve and some first aid kits for what is remaining. Yeah, we want to get wrench jockey too. So we're going to take some pictures of the bouncers. Um, so we get that wrench jockey number two. So your second rose is down here. Very weird to see. I don't know who found that, but that's where it is. Rose number two is in the water. So we're just going to try and get some pictures of him. Yeah, we're about to finish the game. So we just want to get some memories to keep. So he's getting some pictures. And then once you've got them, you can come down here. Because you can only use your wrench, he's going to take a quite a long time to kill, even on easy. But if he comes in here, he sort of gets knocked out. And the electric, fight, the electric will stun him occasionally there you go yeah I just lure him down here and they can loot his body afterwards and then because you killed the last enemy in this area you can get the gift from little sister and then go in the portal to head back yeah every time you interact with little sister you normally get some money some Adam and basically there's a rose in every combat area by the way so come over vendor machine again and we just buy some Eve and some first aid kits and Gather's Garden, we're going to buy Incinerate number two. Make sure you buy that, very important, guys. Incinerate number two. And we're also going to buy Human Inferno number two. So, Incinerate two is very, very important because you actually need that to get a rose. And we're going to come into the turret one. You can look at the pictures just above the doors and then it shows you what enemy is inside. So, we're going into the turrets. The turrets, um, because there is some ice in here and this is where you need Incinerate, but it's also another big daddy. And I'll come into this one 
um, now because we can get wrench jockey two now and they can do more damage quicker but if you come in here later it's going to be a bit later until you can get wrench jockey well not later but you'll um, there he is we just got um, wrench jockey two from uh, getting level two with the um, balancer research so we don't need to take pictures no more just come in here kill the turret master and all the turrets will despawn and that eye is just behind him it's where the rose is but I'm just going to kill this big daddy first so if you set them on fire that will actually knock some of the health down at the same time while you're actually hitting them and then once he's dead yeah get that rose that was ice before by the way you probably saw me I quickly defrosted that after I killed the guy with the turret the turret master and then once you kill the big daddy you can come in here interact with little sister get your gift and go in the portal go back to the little hub area there you go no wrong way and uh, we'll just buy some few more things again so you don't yeah you don't worry if you need to use high from eve's and first aid kits you can just keep buying loads so we're going to come down here into the garden now and now we're buying static discharge and we're going to replace photographer's eye with that because we don't need it no more so security discharge we just bought and we're also going to buy eve saver yeah so security discharge and eve saver we just brought and we're coming here now the spider slices yeah that's the enemies with the hooks that would be the picture above the door so we'll get another rose in here as well you've got a spider slices yeah the with french shocking number two you'll kill these a little bit quicker if you set them on fire by the way on ec fire with the um, human inferno ability as well the tonic which makes do more damage that will kill them all if you leave if you leave them to completely burn that will kill them you don't have to attack them like i am you can just lob incinerate and then run away and they'll be dead i think there's there's five or six spider slices on here by the way i think i think it's five or six it's normally one or two around here I've just set that one on fire, then we're going to come right round to the back here where the rose is. There it is, just under this bench. If you go to where the little sister is on this, then follow the wall to the left, and that will take you round to where the rose is. So there's one more spider slicer. You know there's another enemy left because the little sister door will not be yellow. But when it's yellow, that means you've got every enemy. So I'm just going to loot that big daddy there. Yeah, yeah, she will die. There we go, just died. There you go, it's yellow. We'll take a gift. Thank you very much. And we'll just stock up on some Eve and some first aid kits. Nothing else we need to buy from the Gatherer's Garden. I don't think I'll buy anything else actually. So um, I guess, yeah, we're going to security turret maze now. Security turret maze. Yeah, I guess if there is anything else you want to buy, you can uh, with Adam. So I don't think I'll really buy anything else. I did try this with every single plasmid and tonic, see what was best, and nothing really there's not really anything that breaks this, so I just I just stick to this way. Yeah, I just stick to this way. So you've got all these turrets to destroy now. And the rose, it's nicely tucked behind that machinery there, the pipe work. There we go. Just tucked behind there. You can sort of jump on it and you can sort of move your cursor until it's on it and they can sort of just collect it. So you've got all these turrets. Make sure you get his turret tucked in there. That flamethrower turret. Come around here, there's a big daddy we need to kill. If you go behind this big daddy, the turrets will kill that when they're trying to shoot you, by the way. So there's another turret hidden in that little alcove there. Yeah, I thought I'd die then. <laughs> so another turret there. Yeah, just run around getting the turrets. They're the ones you might miss, the ones sort of in the little alcoves. There you go, just get rid of the big daddy now. He's uh, distracted at uh, turret. And there you go. Yeah, once you've got them all, you'll be able to interact with little sister, get your gift. And back to the central hub. So, yeah, I bought Enrage. That's what I bought Enrage. You don't really need it. Um, yeah, so I'm just stocking up a first aid kit and typo. I'm going into the Big Daddy one now. Yeah, you, you don't really need Enrage. It helps a little bit with the um, all kinds of Big Daddies. 
a combat room, but yeah, it, it's not really needed. There's basically four big daddies in here, and you can use some rage to set them, uh, set them attacking each other. But it doesn't work really well in rage. I mean, I, I find it it does wear off a bit quick here, um, but I guess it does help you a little bit. There's four in here. Basically, there's two roses and two bouncers. We'll get rid of them uh, first, and then we'll get the rose. And what, what I do guys as well, I, I put all the rose locations, I put them in the description. So there won't be timestamps for this except for the trophies and the rose locations. Yeah, that's what I do in the um, little um, in the description for this. So yeah, there's four of these. Yeah, they are very annoying. I did like say, I did try everything on these and because you're using the wrench, nothing really makes them easy. You just got to take it. I mean, obviously... If you try and get certain trophies, you'd have to probably be a bit more strategic on this. But on EC, uh, sorry, if you're on a high difficulty, I mean, you'd have to be a bit more strategic. And then some other plasmids would probably come in handy. Um, but I just do it, I do it like this. Yeah, I, I guess you could use Enrage and you could wait for them to kill each other. And then at the end, there'd be one left standing. But... Obviously, I just want to do that, get rid of them quicker. So the rose is down the side of this little broken beam, and it's still alive. Yeah, there we go. Rose is just down the side of that beam. We got rose number six. So there's two more combat rooms left, and they sort of and they sort of have a bit of combat in the central hub at the end. So we've got a gift from little sister, and then back to central hub. And we're going into all kinds of enemies. Yes, an assortment in here, a little pick and mix. Yeah, have everything here. The Houdini bit on this is a bit annoying because there's quite a lot of Houdinis and um, they're just spawning all over the place. Yeah, so all kinds of enemies. So there's the Nitro Splicer. There's the there's crazy surgeon. The turret, that's gone. There's the big daddy. I guess you could use some rage there if you wanted and set him on the other enemies while you're um, trying to kill most of them. So get rid of that weird looking perp. And the rose, it's just behind the sandbags at the corner at the back there guys. Behind the sandbags. You see there's the little sister hole. So it's left just from the little sister hole. Another nitro. And another random enemy there. Big Daddy's still chasing me. There you go, there's a Houdini. And there's a Leadhead. There's, oh, there's a Houdini. The Houdini's on this, um, similar to Spider Slices. One, Incinerate Two. If you hit them with an Incinerate Two, that will kill them. It will kill them. So, they spawn in the distance, you're not going to get to them on time. Just burn them and leave them, and that will kill them. So, that's all the enemies dead. So, you've got one more combat room. And then we've got a combat in the central hub, and then we're done. Yeah, so you got to do this in 15 minutes for a trophy. Yeah, 15 minutes. So um, you can't hang around too long. You can't hang around too long. But what what you can do if you do it with a wrench and you don't do it quick enough, as long as you get a trophy for doing it without your plasmid and uh, without using uh, firearms, then when you do do a speed run, if you have to do another playthrough then you can use firearms on that one, assuming you already have that trophy, and that should make it a little bit quicker for you. So it's Houdini's on this one, but if you see any on your way down, try and set them on fire, because that will kill them. Yeah, so there's one, set it on fire, and it, it will eventually die. Another one down there. The rose on this level is quite tricky to get, because you sort of have to drop down to it, and it's quite easy to sort of um, miss it. If you sort of get caught on, uh, if you collide with some some of the um, uh, scenery, yeah. So you see that just down there. There, you, you got to sort of try and run off this, but try not to catch anything. And there's the last rose. Yes, yeah, so you just got to try and run off. Try and run off at a similar angle to me. And as long as you don't catch anything, you should land down there. But if not, just make your way back up the stairs and try again. 
And then once you're to the bottom, guys, just need to try and kill all the Houdinis now. Yeah, so just keep moving around and they will eventually spawn in. There's one. I think there's probably about eight. I think there's about eight of these. I've not actually took time to count them. I've tried, but um, I always lose count and I've not I've just not tried again. So um tried to get a better number. Yeah, it's about eight. Um, but I got most of them on the way down. Yeah, if you can get most of them on the way down, that's great. Because on the way down, they normally, a lot of them will spawn always in the same place. And then once you get to the bottom, it gets a little bit more random. So once you've done all the combat rooms, all eight, you come back to Central Hub and then try to interact with the little sister's door. And then the room will go dark. And uh, you'll get ambushed. Basically, a load of enemies will just spawn around the area. Wait for me. You normally have two or three spawn at a time. You normally get, yeah, two or three spawn at a time. So when they spawn, look for a few more. Yeah, should be one more. There it is. So I think we've got three lead heads, and then a, it's it three spiders. Uh, sorry, three three thugs first, then three spiders. So you get three lead heads, and then I think you get three Houdinis. And then you finish off with a big daddy. Oh, we got a nitro there as well. And yeah, this is the Houdinis. Yes, it looks like a nitro spawned in with the um, lead heads. Yeah, so once you've got three Houdinis, yeah, you get a turret guy and wait, two turret guys, or is it three? Should be another one somewhere. Yeah, you get three turret guys. Well, the bot spawners. And then you got a big daddy. Just one big daddy spawns. And then once you got him, that's it. You can rescue your little sister. And as long as you've done it within 15 minutes, guys, and you started it on medium or above, and you got all the roses, and you didn't use any firearms, you should get all the trophies, all four trophies. Yeah, I made a little save there just in case something don't pop. I can uh, just quickly load that back up. So I don't want to spend all that time doing all that again. Yeah, so just let her down and rescue her. There you go, tough guy. Yeah, that's me. I'm a tough guy. Expert. I'm an expert tough guy. Rescuer. And final one, that'll be 100% trophies. There we go, I'm an expert tough guy who rescues and collects things. Yeah, that's me. Yes, yeah, so that's it guys for all hunt trophies in Bioshock. I hope you've liked this guide. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.